Hashtag yep, hashtag I'm gaming. Any of you in the region cunts want to explain those memes? Okay, here we go. Top one says, When you drink, drink the tap water in Badigan. Here's the thing. They brought tap water wrong. They wrote it in a feminine way, which is funny. But you wouldn't recognize that unless you were Norwegian. Alright, meme number two. Uh, B.I. Motherfuckers in their job at Talkmore. After a five year long business innovation management consulting master or some piss like that. There we go. B.I. is business... So, so, so it's, like, it's like this upper class piece of shit business school in Oslo. Anyone who goes to BI is a, is a total, like, giant cunt. That's it. B, I go for B. It's a, it's the, it's the business school in Norway where you don't actually learn anything. All you do is make connections. <laughs> That's all you do. All you do is lick ass. Like, that's, that's what you do. It, the only valuable thing you get from that school is literally you pay a fuck ton of money to make connections with rich people. And you just lick ass for three years and have a, have a degree in something. Uh, made out of thin air. And then, uh, yeah, that's your, that's your career. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're playing Slade Aspire. Um, haven't thought about I don't think I'll do Slade the Streamer again. Although I am, am I, I am up to doing more content mods for this game if 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 it exists. I've done A25, I've done Randomizer, I've done Slade Streamer. I don't know if there's much left to. I mean, okay, so content. I guess you probably have like character mods. We could start d diving into character mods and stuff like that. That is, there's also one called um, uh, where is it? Randomizer with dead. It was called... Uh, Neko Hyper. Hmm. It was called something, but I forgot. All time popular. What was it called? What was this called? It was a fucking thing, dude. There was one more mod that was a, a content mod that had so much cards, but it was bad. It wasn't very good. Uh, I guess not. Try corrupt this. Yeah, some, probably something like that. Try the human. Anyways, no, we're gonna play regular Slay Spire for now. Also... I'll have to see how this goes, because I bit my tongue today. This is gonna sound weird. I went home from the store, I bit my tongue. Uh, while chewing gum. Now, I, I, somehow, I bit my tongue really fucking hard. It started bleeding. And, uh... It still hurts when I speak, a little bit. Like, I don't know how the fuck I did I don't know how I did that. I have really, 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 I really don't know. But surely it will be fine. Surely it, it's okay. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll try to sp I'll probably speak a bit weak to the next. Speak like this. That's only fitting if I'm playing a card game. 
If I'm a 28 year old man playing a card game for 8 hours a day, having a bit of a lisp is not, you know, too uh, out of character. <laughs> Nerd emoji me. Go ahead. Prediction. I'm gonna make one. Do we do the usual beat act one or? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right, boys, place your bets. Place your fucking bets. Albie, did you ever figure out how to get chat to talk to you as mobs and not have us vote on your cards? I'm going to ask the developer about that right now. Now that I remember, I'm going going to do that. Um, did I leave the server? I no, I did not. Uh, by the way... Alright, I DM'd him. I didn't DM him, I just- I just pinged him on Discord. <laughs> Dude! Managing a mod or some shit like that has got to be the saddest thing ever. You get the- you get the ping on Discord, do do and then it's like, oh, someone is talking to me. And it's just some asshole who's like, oh, my fucking thing doesn't work. <laughs> it's someone complaining. It's like, oh. Oh. Man. Good lord. Boop. It's starting relic. Every relic, that's why it says total. Starting relic, boss relic, everything else. I don't think I can reasonably get more than nine. So that's why I stopped at nine. We're bringing it a bit, making it a bit interesting today, and you don't even know which character I'm gonna play. Now, by um, then I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I might do a relic swap in Act One. I think I think the safe would be four. Also, one thing I should specify: it it only this bet only closes when I actually do get to Act Two. Only when I actually do get to Act Two, otherwise it cannot. New two cards, really? Did they? Already? It's gaming time, Mr. Bino. Hope all is well. Where? Uh, this was the last one last time. Maybe it's out of date. What is there one option? Because I can actually skip boss relic. It's possible to skip boss relic and only have cracked core by the end of Act One. It's technically, it's theoretically possible, so I, I, I left it in. Update mod. Sure, I wouldn't want to do this because I'm gonna pick defect. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm going to do it without the, the update the defect and uh, Sneko. Subscribe light tips. Sneko work. Sub unsubscribe. And subscribe again. It's kind of sad that I have to do this every time to update the thing, but... Okay. Oh well. I'll do it. Mmm... Snake work. There you go. Mr. Rubino, I spent 10 chromers on one relic. Please give me money. Uh... I want to see the uh, gamble. So most people think it's gonna be six relics. Well, there's sixty. Okay, two relics is, is very thin. Do we try? Do we try to go for nine relics? I'm gonna I, I, just just to, just because of this bet, I'm gonna just go try to get like an absurd amount of relics. I'm gonna I'm gonna boss swap into a fucking shovel, boys. Watch. Not the boss swap. I'm gonna I'm gonna third option a fucking shovel, dude. Just because I do that doesn't mean it will be successful. So it's still a, still a gamba. 
But to be, to, let's be real. Like, obviously, every act that I ever do, every act one that I ever do, I naturally go for the most relaxed that I can. Always. How many leads do you have? Oh, it's, so it tops is three. If we do a burning, we can do three. Looks like it's gonna be a two elect. Unless I get like an insane thing. Black Tar Salmon. Thank you for the raid. Hello. Good morning. The bet is almost in. The bet is in. We can now view options. Have fun with these goblins, they don't even talk. <laughs> Alright. Welcome, goblins. Talk. Rare Carless. 7 max HP. I like it. What is the pathing? Now I can know. We have an instant shop. But... This is the only reasonable path. This is way too many encounters. Yeah, we can, I guess we can do early shop. Or we can do... No. Counter, counter... This elite is also very early. This seems like a very reasonable... Yeah, this path here actually. Encounter, and then two more encounters. Bonfire into elite. I mean, it's it's like... At that point, we have to do the elite. There's no, there's no way around that. We can't just change our mind. This act is really awkwardly shaped. Like, it feels weird. Um, yeah. So we could take the money. Good to get a good store relic. Or we could uh, get a rare colorless, which means... Uh, and the trade-off, like, Luke's, Luke's 7 max HP is, is like the, the most... The most takeable downside on number 3. Always. I watched your Noita videos and now I'm addicted and somehow I still die in the mines every run. Sounds about right. Thank you for the bits, Shreks. SSB. Um, yeah, because you don't actually lose your current health. You just lose max health. So you'll be 64 of the 64. Relax. And it, 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 it's like a downside that doesn't hurt until Act 2. So it allows you to like snowball pretty well. This is a uh, 1 in 5 chance to get Apotheosis. Hand of Greed. Secret Technique. I would like a Hand of Greed or Apotheosis. Panache can also kind of work, but... Relax. Pogu? Definitely want to do a bonfire into an elite now. Not the other way around. I think I want to go into the shop and ensure a potion before that too. More worm. Yes. That is what I'd like to see. I would not want to draw that later. Do we have lethal? That's the question. Nine, nine, nine. Yeah, we do. Perfect. Apotheos is good. God damn. Liquid. Oh, instant potion? Street. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That is very, very good. Uh, streamline, I think, is just gonna be like... A damage solution. Could we even pick Streamline and like, greed the entire act with three relics? Potentially? Let's see. Rip and tear? With those two combined... Oh, the Miss Prayer Wheel. Yeah, with those people we're gonna have some pretty fucking sick damage. And this is gonna be 9-9? Nine, nine. Right, can we get self-repair? 39. 39 plus... 1, 2, 3. No, we're actually 6 short. 
We're six short. Considering our current health, I will I would rather have damage to just kill things faster. It's on sale too. Now we have damage. Could also get a potion here. We're not gonna be seeing a shop for a while, so We have two pretty expensive cards, but one of them makes other things cheap. There's a credit card mod for the shop, lets you add up the totals. I don't usually have to do it, it's fine. Energy here. Max HP is now undone. Okay. I am the luckiest motherfucker. We are doing elites. We are Damn. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? We picked up two damage cards. I think it's reasonable to take this glacier. Is this dude letting us apotheosis just like that? Okay, good. This fight, I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Yeah, we get a pretty strong opener here. Our next five is gonna be Glacier and Rip it. Okay, wow, we're actually fine. We're, we're totally fine. Hmm. I wanna play this one, I can't play it. Be a full health, I think I'll play it. Make sure I will be able to dish out that damage. I could take six, like that's, yeah. Full block. Easy elite, we're destroying him. Nunshaku. Okay. That's one relic, so uh, the, 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 the one relic gang, gang already lost. Hologram. Well, we have these at zero cost with upgrade. We also have a streamline them. Yeah, I, th I feel like a hologram is here would be nice. Reboot, not really. Hologram is like always a take, I guess. We don't need to heal. We have no reason to go bonfire at all. I'll go, I'll just do encounters. Let's fuck the bonfire. I have nothing. I don't have a shovel. I'll. <laughs> Let's go here. Yes, this might be good. Hmm. I think that's the most efficient solution. <laughs> Self repair is tempting. Do you ever skip a self repair? I like this card though. We just don't partic- we don't need the card. But card draw? Letting us draw faster into the apotheosis, potentially? Mm, yeah, because then we can- we can actually, uh, take Hulil. And, uh, give us a plus card draw. By making sure that we can draw into it shit faster by doing that. Bag of prep extremely potent here. Okay. And we get metallicized maggots. But we draw this immediately. I'm gonna pop a potion here. To streamline your ass. I should use that first, fuck. I could double pop, but I feel like I'm gonna be fine. We'll see next turn what we draw. We get uh, this. I'm 
I'm going to block her so that if I if I draw hologram now, I'm going to be mad. So I'm gonna just do this. We can hologram back uh, streamline now. Which is gonna be pretty nice. That's one dev. I should probably yeah, I don't wanna take damage. Let's just do that. I just pray to God that we draw good things, which we do. Okay, cool. Um, oh yeah, sure. There it is. Well, we have lethal on him, so we take six. Great nunchaku. We just draw a bunch. I think we can kill him if we draw enough. Good. Smiling mask, not super potent, but sweeping beam. We don't really have any OE, but I feel like I think. We're, 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 gonna, we're, we're gonna run into hard encounters at some point, so... And perfectly now we can actually just heal if we... We're, go, we're going into another elite, which can either be... It's either, either gonna be Loving Gulen or Gremlin Love. Gremlin Love could be a problem, so I think I'll just heal here, just in case. So we don't lose the run. Okay, it's this guy. We should be fine then. Because he lets us just draw into... Uh, he lets us spend a lot of turns to draw into the Apotheosis, which is... Very nice of him. Mm-hmm. Draw to the fence so we don't have to... Uh, yep. Play it on the downturn. Even my strikes are good, it's kind of absurd. Damn. Who's the boss? Uh, Torrance is gonna be good there. I, uh, Liquid Memories, I guess I'll leave so we can pick a fairy. Equilibrium! Hello. A fat block. One block. Yeah, we can, we can probably take this, no? A thick block, sure. Our first en hard encounter was not a, uh, a multi enemy. I'll chill. I'll actually just chill. Here comes the vulnerable. Take one, that's fine. Um, nine. Nine, nine is eighteen, right? He's dead. Bye. <laughs> Better watch. To be honest, that's that's a card I literally never take though. Do you have any card draw? No. Yeah, not, if it's not card draw, I'll just do this. This should be fine. We'll see though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we won. We didn't. We didn't die. Good. Do you play Glacier? I think we should probably play Glacier, but I also want to do damage. I'll do that. Here we go. 
All good. I don't think we need to put this in. We can save it for uh, maybe birds like two. Should be fine. Do we just ding ding to scam? I want to get that in play. Probably shouldn't take damage. I could have just maintained my health actually. Yeah, streamer is kind of awkward right now, honestly. Unless I get it into play, but that's like it just takes so much to get it into play though. All right. Cool cards. What do we have? What are we doing right now? Neko Formel, nice. Electro is nice. Electro is nice for Act 2, for particularly. Corsair is nice for Act 2 if we draw it really early. For Act 2, this is a, it's like it doesn't cost too much if you don't get the energy relic. Um, Any tips on how to build up one Zenoita without dying every two minutes? It feels like the same maggot run every time. For Noita? Yeah. Learn to build once. I know. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. One moment, one moment. Look up guides for how to build once in Noita. You have to learn that. If you don't know how to properly build once, you're not gonna be, like, beat the game ever. Unless you get very lucky. Let's use the resources available to you. YouTube, Discord servers. I'm not gonna go over it here because it's, very, it's like, sort of complicated. And I'm trying to select a card, but thank you for the bits, Rex. Um, yeah. One cost, gives you artifact, very good. If you don't write early enough, not so good. Um, although there's a way to get around that with like a seek or something, but we, 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 you know. Anyways. Electro. Overall good for Act 2. Two out of three elites are AoE. Two out of three bosses are at least AoE to some extent. A lot of the encounters are AoE. Birds are solved by this. Yeah. Or Act 3 as well, it also is a still, good, still a good card. So it solves a lot of stuff in Act 2. If we don't get an energy relic, Neko form is really awkward to play. We don't have a, a turbo or anything like that. We already, we already are kind of, kind of choked for energy, so I'm gonna get Electro here. PSA, there is a mod called Something Samethan Lab. That mod has challenges you can go through to learn basics of wand building. That's, yeah, there we go. Um... Strikes and defense are not the end of the world. Especially not when you upgrade them with apothe apotheosis. But what would these cards be upgraded? Now, so first of all, we get a bunch of new cards. Second of all, those cards are going to be upgraded. Hmm. I was hoping for a fusion hammer here. That would be fantastic. It's a it's a Giga Yolo, but we could get some really good block cards. We can get some we can get some nice stuff there in there, man. Curse key is my second option. Astrolabe is my th is like kind of useless because we already like it, it transforms. It transforms. That's it would be like a transform three. It would be a transform three and upgrade a ha half a card. But key is, is key is like not so good in, in Act Two because you kind of cocked. Oh wait, how many? One, two, three, four, five relics. 
No, no, six actually. Because we take one of these. Oh yeah, we take one. We get six then. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pay out a bet until I am in uh, in next uh, three, two min. Hmm. What a bunch of uh, contradictory cards. I gotta say. This is not very good. Is it better than Strikes in Defense? That's the question. We got the Fragment. We got a boot sequence for, for safety in Act 2. Another Streamline for some reason. Static Discharge. Reprogram, which is a th thing. And another Hologram. These aren't particularly good cards, so we didn't get a single rare, but... I would say that other than the reprogram and maybe static discharge, they are better than strikes. It's gonna get a bit difficult to get this going in Act 2 though. Also note that the boot sequence is not a, as big of a detriment, being innate, uh, since we have bag of prep. Yeah. Defrag is nice though. We do have Glacier and uh, Cool Headers, so it just go really well, well with that. I guess my next upgrade would be Defrag then. So that in case we draw it first, a uh, Defrag and Boot Sequence, because these are cards that are like, we're gonna play them early. If when, if, it, it, Boot Sequence we are gonna play early, and uh, Defrag we might play early. I mean, if, if, if we might play it early, we wanna like. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pay out a bet. That's six relics. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. <laughs> How many relics by act three? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, boys. You get one minute. <laughs> it could just be that I get more than that. It's a three elite top, three elite top, which I think I'm gonna do. Going into a uh, at some events and into a shop and then here as and then we get a bonfire to get the fragment early as well. Uh, this is the only path where we get the bonfire to upgrade the fragment first, but I don't think it's gonna be that important. Also, I mean more or less elite. I'm gonna go here. A comfortable draw. Why are you telling me this? Thank you for the tier one. Thank you for the 17 months. Apotheosis. Boom. What's the upgrade of this? You get three more blocks for the upgrade. Wow, that's incredible. Amazing claw. It's so good. This is 22, right? Like, 40 plus 8? Yeah. Awkward costs on this card. All are 2 and I only have 3 energy. We have 2 streamlines. <laughs> okay. No, f because of course we do. Uh, 
Okay. What happened? That went, that went for, oh, chill. More frost. Ball lightning. These are all kind of mid. Kind of? With boots, I guess I don't think so. No. No. Relax. Yo, hat two. Just for a second, bitch. This is a skip, isn't it? Like we have. Uh... Yeah. I want to go to the shop and see what it's got. Chosen. Hello. Didn't throw anything that we wanted. Um. Retain it. Probably shouldn't have done that. It might even have been a bad, a bad idea. No, I drew, I drew less now. Like an idiot. I'm glad that I looked at Nunchaku there, just in case I drew the wrong thing. Thank you, game. Yes. Man hits hard. Ow. I don't think I've ever been in this fight this long. This is uh, the chosen fight of all time. Five in the Boo Lou, thank you for T1. Cold snap, aggregate. Aggregate is a card. Doesn't really help me too much though. You want card draw. If I did, a, a compile driver would be very takeable here. Or a uh, skim. For sure. I think one of the at least one of the streamlines is has to go. Next time, next time, I'll order program. The program is something I, I literally cannot use. Yeah, fuck that. Gonna have to let that one go soon. Speaking of. Thank you. Choose a card to add to your deck. Hmm. Are we having a blizzard moment? Blimsard in the in this bitch. Or overclock. Turbo is also a card. What does this deck do? It generates frost at a reasonable pace. It has electrodynamics, so it wants a uh, uh, focus. It also has static discharge for some reason. Doesn't seem like Blizzard is really the card here. The cards that I've been seeing on rewards like this have been pretty mid. Blizzard. Go for is also nice. Honestly, who's the boss? This guy. I guess a go for the ice wouldn't be the end of the world. I really was hoping for a skim in here. But I guess, like Blister is like one weird like scaling option that's AoE as well, but it's gonna take forever to get there though, I guess. Like it's gonna be a, a nine it's gonna be a mid it's gonna be a mid attack, honestly. We do have a lot of expensive cards, so I guess, yeah, Turbo could definitely be... Tubo.
Yeah. A tubo is uh, a take, I think. Sure, I'll take a tubo. We have frozen uh, uh, cosmetic as frozen eye. We have panache, which I don't really benefit from at all. Um, ink bottle, card draw, good. Molten egg doesn't really do much. Card removers are cheap though. Meaning a stream link can go. Or claw, actually. It's kind of a burden here. Goodbye, Claw. At least Streamline has front load damage. I'll get this cosmetic guy. I'll get it. Uh, do we, do we, the question is, do we buy more? The low world is not the card that I want. National recycle, arguably. But no, there's not like it's not like I have a bunch of defense and shit to recycle. I have like, yeah. yeah. Do we have more shops? If we do three leads, we don't have more shops. I might as well spend some money here. But like, is it reasonable to buy an ink bottle? To get more card roll? I sure would like to have the extra card roll. You get it. Hello. Okay. You'd love to see it. Channel 3 lightning. Sounds like a good idea. Next up we're gonna get the fragment. Ignore the fragment and glacier. So we should be fine for block that turn. Bottom decked, static discharge. It's a good time to use this portion. I'll take one. This is more blocked, this is less to obtain. Um, next hand is gonna be t Turbo Hologram, which I think honestly is fine. Take a little bit of damage. And what do we wanna draw back? Perhaps uh, this is this is where like having card draw cards would be good. We have a cool head, no? We have that, and then we can draw out static discharge and sap, which would not be very good. Seven times four. There is actually an yeah, ink bottle. Is almost about to activate. So we are actually going to draw in out either of those. Hmm. Rip and tear reasonable? And we got this one. Okay. Okay. Is 
I think we pop this now to make sure there'll be uh, yeah static and just equilibrium. Five five no. This is a lot more efficient. This is five. This is six more blocks than using these two. Or no, yeah, it's gonna be because this is gonna evoke anyways. Cool. And that is that. Book of Stabbing Dead. More bank. We got our money back. Cool. FTL. Good for triggering ink bottle. It also draws its cards for itself. Um, doesn't it, It's not like a Act 2 card. Upgrade it to C. It doesn't even upgrade to be that much. Uh, but we are struggling a little bit with damage. Or, or, or our deck hasn't really found like a personality or like a identity. Our deck doesn't have an identity yet. We don't really know which direction we're gonna scale it or whatever. FTL, a good game? So I've been told. Free card, not against Time Snail and Heart. And those are two very important fights. And we don't really need it right now. Reinforce is not like, we don't have the energy to really ex uh, benefit too much from this. I've been very lucky with these draws, man. I gotta say. Ink bottle? Why are you like this? Fortunately, I have holograms. That I'm not very good at drawing, mind you. Thank you. That's the solid fight. Look at that. Took me a while to um, throw into it. Blood vial. Events now could actually give me the. Uh, I do, no, we actually. We don't want the bites. Fuck the bites. We have the fucking Badoras. <laughs> Ain't no way. Powers are what we no like did they up I guess we have we have red key We have red key and whatever powers we do get is what we're gonna upgrade anyways So I would say key is like if there's one relic I could if it's one relic right now We could swap for a key it would be an upgrade relic Absolutely um, I guess I'll do some events Could be a shop here as well Remove a card. Is there anything in particular you want to remove though? The book boost sequence is very nice. A streamline? Two streamlines is a bit much. As you can see, we have smiling mask and this remove here was like more expensive than it would have been, but the thing is, chat. Okay, well, most likely we'll get it next turn. The thing is, though, most likely we'll get it next turn. By the way, okay. This way we upgrade. Cool of it. All right. Twenty-eight 
22. 21. They're hitting hard right now. What the hell, boy? We're pro we're likely to get turbo here. Yeah, that's what I thought. That looked like a pretty scary situation, but it it kind it kind of worked out. Skim team beam cell. Um, we have eighteen. We have really very really small deck, man. Likely, likely, we're very likely to draw it. The beam cell's gonna let us do more damage, but throwing into yeah, we want to get skim. You also want to upgrade said skim, kidnapped skim. Great. Defragment. And you. Take no damage. We will draw skim. Which does not let us draw turbo. Okay, I guess we're just equilibrium. Then. 10 times 3, that's rough. 33 damage. Do we draw four cards with that? Yeah, we don't want to draw fours because it's going to reshuffle the pile. Um, I guess we'll just play this. Now, from now on, it's, it's, it's free. Alright. Okay, we will draw into that shit. No, no problem. Recursion? Sure, I th I'm probably gonna regret not taking that. Hello, shop. Dark orb. White noise. Grimmin horror. Sling of courage. I'm not finding the solutions that I want. The horn is very good. Symbolic virus is like mid. Horn is good though. It's gonna break the mole bank, but dark with recursion. Having a free dark, yeah, yeah, sure. Also, dark would let us get a yeah. It it would make um. Hmm. Cat person, I think. Hmm. At this point, I'm thinking I should probably save for something more impactful, no? We're gonna go into this boss here. I guess shuffling the... I think I think a Grimminhorn will help against them more than a Dark, because Dark is just gonna kill the totem, the Torchads. We're probably gonna struggle against this fight. We don't really have a, we don't really have a solution for him. But Horn will help against him, because he will summon the Torchals, we kill them, and we get energy and, and more card draw. If 
Just, I think, I think, uh, I think, uh, just, um, just making sure we can kill this boss by having either dark or horn would be good. But dark would have to be sh carefully. Well, it's gonna help us. No, it's gonna help us scale. We don't have scaling right now. Dark would be like a, a thing that scales all the time, sort of. As long as we can just play recursion enough. Yeah. If I saw a card here that made dark, I would take it. If there was a a a a a, 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 a like, it could it do, it, buying now could also cut me from getting a runic capacitor next act in a shop. Like I need something like that, but we could also get a boss relic that is like uh, inserter, for example. I don't know if we can keep the orb for long enough. We have a turn the card deck. Um, and we have gambling chips. I think we should be able to maintain the dark. I'll get it. Just a little bit worried that, you know. Apotheosis is found. That's my drop pile. We get recursion immediately. We want to have. Um, oh, we have electrodynamics. Sure. There you go, there you go. Can't run into turbo. That's kind of a problem. Next turn is gonna be no. We, we get turbo next turn, electro dynamics, and this, but no recursion. So the, this this orb is actually gonna fuck off immediately. We're not gonna be we're not gonna be able to keep the dark. Yeah, that was kind of a useless the relic. Because it's already gone! But we killed the torches round one, which is nice. And it's already some new ones. We're fine. Maybe I underestimated myself, I don't know. We need more lightning generations, we only have sap. Although we can play sap a lot though. To be fair. Hmm. Good. Both voices to pull out. That was actually really lucky. Should I take in ball? Should I take in horn, honestly? The ball lighting would also be nice, yeah, I guess. This watcher or like whatever it's called is being really nice to me. I guess the fight's fine. Our deck is so trim that it's like, anyways. We can like reliably draw a fucking cooler than the skim at any time. This will take some damage, but it's dead though. We, I mean, we 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 we, we, we need to fight. It's ogre. Bye. Act three.
Necognition, fission. Uh, more focus would be nice. Necognition, I think it is. Yeah. Inserter. I know a lot of people are gonna be disappointed if I do, if I don't take the ding ding. A lot of people probably don't want the ding ding, but inserter here is gonna be one thing that is very very nice. Inserter is a busted. Having getting this at the end of Act Two is like the perfect timing. Except we don't have that much. We have no energy relics, but we have a good card draw and we have a a turbo. We go inserter. Absolutely. It is so good. It's too good. Now, uh, I guess we can kill just about any elite. We don't want to do another shop. No, it's just doing, doing vents and... Funny Act 3. Whatever. One guy attacks, so we can kind of chill with the blocks. I want to do that. We need to draw farmer cards. Boom, boom. Boot sequence? I don't think so. Yep, we can draw. Well, is that fight basically solved? Shivering Glacier skim. Mm. Uh, I think I'll just win as fast as I can. Why not? Even better. Alright. Recycle. Um, it's there isn't that much I want to recycle, but I, I, it could be. It could. I might just. Um, it could help me cook. It could. It could help me cook. I have a lot of two costs. Like I, I have an equilibrium too many. Exhaust the voice. I don't know, but it's a one way. It's another way to get energy, and we can trade some cards for it. We can trade like a static for it. We can trade a uh, equilibrium for it. We can trade a streamline for it, and then have energy to play other things, which I think is nice. Also, let's say we get burns, we can get rid of those. It costs zero. I'll take it recycle. Would madness be a thing here? But well, it's not like we have an all for one, so not really. No, I think it's a max HP moment. That's fine. We don't want to get a curse. We don't want madness. Oh, for the purpose of this gambus, should we treat death as end of act? That would make it interesting. Yeah, that's a good idea. With the amount of holograms we have and card draw. Making something cost zero would not be that bad. It's Dona Decca, and the next boss, the only thing that would be bad is Timekeeper. And arguably Heart. Because we cycle, it's a 22 card deck on Act 3, and we have like card draw, card draw, card pull. We only have a card pull, two of them. We have, we have retain. We have more. Is it sick card draw? An exhaust. A zero cost. 
Like a zero cost, like cool headed, for example, and then just get insane card draw. Two zero costs here. Let's just do it. Oh boy. This could be, this could be like a fucking sick cook moment. Could this be a deck second skim? What is the card we value the most here? Defrag is a, is a safe way to get uh, focus, to be fair. What I really, really want now is a... Is a uh, if I now get... Ne consume. Double it. But another defrag is just a safe way to get more uh, focus. Which does not require artifact. And with all the orb slots we're gonna get with with uh, inserter, I guess defrag is gonna be very potent. Having two of it would not be the end of the world. Two more focus. Or a cool headed. I'm not opposed to having two upgraded cool headed. But the value from defrag is pretty nice. You could argue that it's enough. To, it's enough to have the uh, cognition and defrag. To be fair. But uh, I'm gonna go play it. I'm gonna play it like pussy, pussy mode uh, safe here. Fuck it. Uh, do we want to do four elites? The option is three. You will do three or four. We have a safety potion. Is there an elite that is very difficult for us? Can we block really high? For Reptomancer, we have Electrodynamics. For 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 Nemesis, we might be fucked. Might be, mind you. Stonehead, I'm not too worried about. We can play a lot of cards. The head will be pissed with that low cost stack. Yeah, it's, it really depends on how fast we can draw into that. But with, uh, with our card, we should be fine. We should be able to draw into the apotheosis relatively quickly. Even if it's like bottom decked. Let's go for <laughs> YOLO. Do you want to pop Neko? Yeah, sure. Actually. I don't mind that one bit. The issue with the cycle is it just, it just doesn't do much here, honestly. It's kind of the problem. So here, for example, now we have a zero cost glacier. That's like that's good, no? Ball lightning. Actually, I'm not too opposed to that. Actually, I'm not like that. Wouldn't be too bad, or would it? I guess I just drew uh, recycle at a bad turn for to draw it on. No, I think I think what I want to do is 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 get have other ways to generate it. Or there's more lightning. It is more lightning. I'll take it. I will not, however, take one more. It's super low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. None of these draw cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, But I only have seven cards. Oh, five, six, seven. Oh, but I have Sweep Beam. I have Sweep Beam. 
So if our hand then is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we can draw if we can draw this. Play turbo. Then we draw one, two, three, four. Yeah. Do we block enough for that? Do we have any blocks here? We need to hit this. Ink bottle, we can keep this, yeah. Okay. Um, Eleven. I guess we just we could just um, block for sixteen here. We could pop the orbs. Orb. Actually, I'm just gonna fucking cook out the ass right now. Let me cook, chat. Take damage, very good, very good. Alright, not gonna take damage either. Good. And we give our potions. And we get to look at a Necron Soup! Soup! We got it. Head. Put the is right there. Oh, we have a turbo? No, no. Not the recursion. Four? I gotta give four go four cards to the elder gods. I can give you a boost sequence. We have this and this. Uh, do we guess? Yeah, we can, we can just burn the cycle and play other things, right? Or we can burn this. We don't need this. This is probably worse. Yeah. Do we set this up to be cheaper right now? Maybe? Or do we just generate three orbs? Next turn is gonna be these cards. They're not gonna they're gonna draw rip and tear. Can I draw more? No. I wanna draw more. Fuck. That's the bad turn. That turn sucks. No frost in it? You have a hologram at least? No. That sucks. I guess it's a blocked potion turn then, if anything. Turn after that we have skim, which we can start- Oh, because the turn after that we kind of go online, but before- This turn, next turn is gonna be dog shit. We're gonna get one orb slot this turn, but we pull this. So you might as well fill up this slot now and uh... Thirteen, it would be full value. Alright. Hmm. 
equilibrium, okay. One. We cannot throw more cards, can we? I'm like I'm like barely getting cooked by a lot of things. Consumable? I love Ink Bottle. That was the best purchase of my fucking life, man. God bless Ink Bottle, dude. Big recycle. I'm scaling so hard right now, dude. 21, 21. 21? Hits for 55? I'm, I almost have blocked it, but it was just those two balls. Zero energy, god damn! Okay. Dream catcher. Not exactly what I was looking for. I'm gonna buy this game on Steam just for the network. <laughs> nice. Based. My man. <coughs> Focused. <coughs> Chaos. No. Storm. No. Double energy. No. Maybe. No. Our card draw now is has been suffering a little bit. Speaking of, um, we want to upgrade. Can we upgrade Cardro? No. Boot sequence. Could you go wrong with that? Upgrade boot sequence? Turbo? Why? Or we can rest and look for a card. Just get more health and look for a card. A dreamcatcher. That ain't it. Or a power. Hmm. I don't know. White noise is kind of funny, but um, every, every card we add to this deck is detrimental as fuck. Funny is good. Since since chat is so persuasive about it, I guess I'll add it. Nemesis, hello. Apotheosis top deck, very good. Nemesis right there. What do we do? Seven times three, we want to block a bit. It's not not gonna pop that. I have a boot sequence. Theosis. Defrag in the consume. Decent start. Ball lightning? I don't think so.
apotheosis. Good sequence. The Akurda was just gonna draw skim and base neck recognition. You got like a fifty percent chance to get the neck consume free, and we do. That is a very good. So that's that's the way you get madness. Now neck consume is free. We don't have to play those two two energy every time we want to play it. Incredible. Let's see. More lightning. It's not necessarily the turn to do that, but... It's a turn to get these fucking curses out of my deck. Uh, yeah. Next turn is going to be these five cards, which is not good. It's really going to make me take a lot of damage. Uh, we can't pop a. I should have thought about that. You now what I'm going to do? I'm going to just do this. Make my next turn maybe better. Like so, we keep some cards, we get Glacier next turn, sure, that's actually fine with me. And if we don't throw some burns, we can just exhaust them if you want, or, uh, yeah, I think we can. Um, Glacier. Throw Turbo, cool. Seven times here is seven times three, that's like 21. It's funny how we can do like either just 21 or like suddenly you can just do 45 like random it's, and it's also it's totally random Like that to me is kind of insane How we just do how it just does that Negon Zoom is there but we don't have I think it's like I, I would actually take a capacitor because I can I can play the Negon Zoom like more than once per turn at this point and uh, I would like to do that more do We have dual cast somewhere Not realistically Sweeping beam and then uh, bias in the condition. I think we do. We can maintain this level of uh, of Neko. I'm gonna play safer and keep two frost just in case it does like a lot. In case it did like a stupid fucking attack this time. Um, yeah. Next turn is gonna be that, which is fine. Actually. 13, 13, 13. That's certainly more than 7 times 3, so fuck it. I guess we'll just chill. I could do this, but it's like not efficient at this point at this point in time. I'm chilling. 45. I'm skipping. 16. What do we want to draw? We could draw the turbo, so we just hold it back. The skim. Draw the turbo. Bam. Now I can play more things, look at that. Beep, 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 beep. This should be enough to kill. Unless I... Yeah, this should be, this should be fine. Leaving just a 7. Alright. Nemesis dead. I was kind of worried about him. Bag of marbles. This little chaos. Turbo compile driver. I, 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 is there such a thing as too much card draw? It's gonna draw. It's gonna draw. The issue is, it's, it's gonna draw two. We, we like it's. It could not draw three early since we have this, the dark. But I am chilling. Okay, don't really need that. But a boss from act one. Heal for curse, pretty old cards you can no longer heal, this is useless, I guess, but uh, we don't, we are full health, we have all, we have apotheosis, we kill a boss. I get my goddamn calipers. Uh, almost bottom deck, this is gonna be two full draws, do we have a draw in between? Not here. We have a cool little We have the electrodynamics, so we cannot lose this fight. We can, we can just DPS and down draw and pop electrodynamics and win.
Yeah, lol, fuck it. Let's just win this one. Throw Potheos is next turn, sure. Mm, do I want to consume? I guess. Do I? Goodbye, Dark. Static. Next turn is going to be that. We want to make sure that he, he, he is going to like fuck off. Taking your advice and attempting to learn about wands, I have concluded that Noita makes me want to jump into a volcano. <laughs> Shrek, thank you for the bits. That sounds just about right. Wonderful. All right, it appears we can beat the Act One boss, guys. Surely this is more focus. Guessing this is gonna be over before this, yeah. It starts to matter. Ball lightning. Turbo glacier. Boom 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 boom. Goodbye. And they're all dead. Eight. Let's have it at, at, at actually at nine. Perfect. Emotion. Very good. Tempest plus for more lightning. Um, go for the eyes for weaken, which wouldn't actually be the end of the world. I think. We, the, the cards I'm seeing are just not that good, man. Barrage is, is uh, one thing, but we don't scale that way. We use actually consume to uh, to get to scale that way instead. Although go for the ice would be a nice addition. Just like making things do less damage. A source of weaken, sure. Burning artifacts, sure. Let's go. Free heal, um, I guess. Any card draw? No. Zero costs. Just gonna upgrade turbo. Just to make sure we have energy to play things early. White notes is like, yeah, since, yeah. yeah. I guess they're the white notes. Fuck it. It's one more, it's both are one more energy. Head again, we meet. Potheos is very low this time. No, oh, no. Anything that throw, anything that doesn't draw cards can fuck off. Sure. Very nice buffer. Defrag, defrag, cool hood. We get Potheos is next turn. We get the Potheos next turn, anyways. Okay. Go defrag then. And make something here free. Cool, they for free, I like it. Alright. Seems good. Apotheosis time. Throw out the bane. Weaken it again. Hmm. Next is gonna be skim and set. Next turn we're gonna be fine then, actually. Um biased? Yeah. Time for focus. It's all the way over there. That is not nice. Is this burden garbage card? Holograms? Anyone? Dual cast? Dual cast. Uh, draw card? No. No draw card. Okay, such. 30. 16, 16. So we can full block it and save a barrier, sure.
Mm -hmm. Good sequence being useful. Now consume is the last card. That's so annoying. That is so annoying, man. 33, can we block that? We can, we can just swap this. Alright. And now we draw on the consume now. With cool health at least. I could pop it again, but I don't think it's gonna be like mad value. 50, 14, 14, 14, that's like 43. 42. Um, free cooler though, why not? XD. Just because I can, man. Fuck Electro. I have a lot of block. Calipers here would be really fucking potent. If I get calipers on this guy, I'm going to be very happy. Five, six, okay. Six is not great, but anchor is nice. Buffer. Uh, no. No. I don't think so. Most of the bosses coming up are multi hits. I think it's gonna be like we have double. We have like twenty-three block turn one, which is pretty nice. Are the calipers you speak of in the room right now? Sadly, they are not. I would very much like them though. Surely the next elite will have them. Surely. Hello, uh, transient. Now we surely have the block. We want to get uh, some things into play that are in the bottom of our deck. Cool. Do we just play this? I don't see an issue. We got the Potheosis 60. Off you go. We got 20 already. 7-11, bitch. I don't need two of these. Forty. Fifteen, we're good. Next ten is gonna be dripping tears, we can be up. Oh, this is bad. Bad hand. Is that really gonna be it? We're one from, from drawing more. I guess I can... I, in worst case, I can use my potion. Then. Okay. I guess I might have to use the potion. We do have weekend 34. If we turbo this and do this and this. We're actually totally fine. Okay, never mind. Now we're good. I'm here, under, I'm here like severely underestimating myself at this point. Now we can do this for free. This game hologram free? Sure. Sounds like a good idea. Give me powers. And Defragment Eben. Does it mean I can actually just draw a lot of cards for no reason? It means it does it does mean that. Okay. That's funny. Now consume. Boom. Boom. Mm -hmm. Good thing I draw cards for free. Good thing I draw more cards for <laughs> XD. This game is dumb. This game's stupid, man. Sometimes. Hmm. Yes, three more turns. Just because we can scale up some frost if you want. Reshuffle the deck. 
We have more. We have, we have more void. Void is coming up next. Uh, that kind of sucks. I guess we'll hope uh, this. Safety measures. Let's draw the void. There we go. Perfect. Next turn should be chill now. So, this turn we prevent 30... 50... No. 30... 58 damage? He's currently doing 2 damage. I'm gonna play some cards just to set up my uh, funny. My orb. Alright. Good. Oh, he actually has one more turn. Damn, I forgot about that. And we got it to six. God damn it. Gambler brew. Barrage Tempest. I mean, I, I, I. The game is having a psychosis. I keep seeing these fucking cards over and over and over again. Why? Give me something new. I want a, a, a capacitor. A capacitor would be amazing, but I can't have it. Um, I would say Gambler Spruce. No, it's still chaos when we have... Uh, yeah. We have since you only have three energy, I'm gonna go with that. Give me the goddamn uh, apotheosis. At the bottom of my deck against the elite that I liked it least. Hmm. Share. We wanna draw the fuck out of this deck. That helps. Four, one, two, we don't have enough. I think we just was the next one is this. If we have like your equilibrium and some frost orbs with uh What an awkward, what an awkward situation. I will at least weaken him. That turn. Since I can weaken him, uh, you c Yeah. You just get focus, six, or, yeah. Okay. He did the- so like I have buffer so the 45 is, was not a problem but this could be- actually would it be 5 and 3? I actually have- lol. Okay, I, I don't know why I'm- I don't know why I'm like- why I thought so much about that. I guess I forgot I have buffer. One more card draw and we have apotheosis. Hello. Now we can start doing things. Hilarious. For example, we can ne consume. I think I want focus. Focus, focus. Uh, we should probably start doing some damage. We can also just go for more. F I think I just I, I've learned my lesson about like not popping the cognition sometimes. Because you definitely do want to. Yep. Because now we avoided losing our barrier, which is nice. Okay, we're chilling. 
We're chilling. Okay, we're good. We, we beat him. I don't know why I'm too. I'm, I don't know why I'm worried. Like I, 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 I this run I've, I've been like underestimating myself a lot. Honestly. Anyways, pocket. Okay. Hello. We have uh, that. Actually, still benefits me. One more necklace zoom is too much. Uh, we don't generate enough uh, slots fast enough for that. One is good. Oh, but one glacier is also good. I think. We are. We are fine. Uh, what do we get then? Go for guys for safety. Now we just want to do like safety, safety, just safety, so we can get online. Once we get online, we're fine. But we need to be able to get online. Go for guys is not going to do much against Dolan Decker, for sure. Boot sequence. Just get three more block. Make sure holograms don't exhaust. Turbo for more energy. I guess so. I guess so. Very close apotheosis, at least. Next ignition, I'm not gonna play, but now we give up three cards and we draw one, two, three. We wanna draw Voidness as well. Meaning the Bane. No. Boot sequence could go. No, we don't we want boot sequence. We want, we want actually kind of all of these. We wanna burn the artifact, but it's not super important. You only have one card that burns artifact, and we're gonna have to cycle the deck a lot to make it happen. So I'm gonna just. Or do we? We want to burn his artifact anyway, so fuck it. I'm just going to draw the apotheosis and, and call it today here. Machine learning, very potent. Nice. This is the neck of ignition moment. What are we, what's the next turn? It's going to be Madness, Hologram, Kool-Aid, Defragment, this, and actually also Turbo. We can, we're, next turn is safe. Um, we could do a funny here. Instant free streamline, dude. Take one damage, that's okay. I want to draw the consume. Thank you. We got seven. We got to draw electrodynamics soon. Fifteen times to the slow damage. The faster I play it, the better. I got 10 block, 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay, we could 20-20 uh, this shit. Or do we, we get recursion next turn, so we could recurse it. 16-9-9, uh, nine, nine. I think this is good. Let's, let's recurse it. Let's maintain it. Yes. Nice. What are we gonna draw? Voids! YOLO. The least useful thing. Amazing. Let's get some front load, front load on him, because why not? Sap some more. 24 block. Uh, we cannot do anything about that. Other than just draw out a void. And get this as our turn after that. Sure. You want to destroy? Yeah, because otherwise this turn is going to be useless. So then we draw out these two. No, we actually draw out 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we can stream beam into that. Streamline, yeah. It appears to be the play. We draw two voids because of the thing. Oh, we don't. Now we, that's actually. Oh, dude. This thing is so good. We just draw two voids. They're both all gone, and now we get equilibrium, we don't get any negative energy, we got the free streamline. Okay, we're good. Yeah, Ben. We take six damage here, but... That's also more damage than them. A lot more damage than them. He's dead. I don't know why I hit him, him there, but... Alright. Hmm. 
I'm at a hologram juggle my way to this one. Do I have lethal though? Ten, 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 forty. No, I actually I don't I don't have lethal. Maybe if I put the potion, I guess, but I want to have the flex fight. Oh, I'm so close to killing him, dude. I'm... T I'm... Damn. I guess I'll take like a little bit of damage then. Very important. Two damage. Alright, well, who is it gonna be? I'm not too opposed to Time Snail. Yeah. That's. Sure. Sure. Apotheosis is not too far. Static? No. I consume, kind of. Yeah. We're good. We will draw it. Free skin from now on. T. I gotta play two more cards. Um, hologram, go for the eyes. I forgot to give myself frost orbs. So we're going to take a little bit of damage here. Do we want this card to be played ever? Three lightning? It's it's pretty effective. Yeah, sure, whatever. That was stupid. I should have made frost. Give frost, holy shit. Should dual cast that. Two car turn, let's go. We do have like equilibrium though. Ten block. This much block. Cool. Ne consume. Static. Necognition. It's not gonna be a kill before we, yeah. Uh, I don't think I will kill him here, actually. Unless. <laughs> and, le and fucking less, though. And fucking less, actually. No, I'm a nickel zoom, motherfucker. Very foolish of me. Should be fine here. We have, we have like, we have focused at the ass. I'm not like, too worried about this. 
Even though we get a foolish moment, it's like, anyways. We block for 109. Like, I don't think this is gonna be an issue. Now we hope Nagon Zoom. Three more focus, so let's go. Some more lightning. We could draw some more shit and just kill him. I feel like. Like that. 116, we wanna get some more lightning up. Um, or we can Nagon Zoom again. Do we Nagon Zoom again? No, that would delete the lightning. I'm chilling. He's gonna hit for a lot right now. I should be fine though. This is a deck that can block a lot and also do a lot of damage at the same time. I feel like, like this is a hard moment. We can definitely like get somewhere with that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we're, we're, we're only in one? Wait, hold up. I thought we were on full. What am I thinking? I could have just killed him. Well, let's act four. Time for, uh, time for, uh, we'll, I have a, I have the, the Eternal Feather, we should be like max health here, no? Yeah, with a 29 card deck, I think we're good. And uh, the most beneficial upgrade for us would be Boots Vikings for one more card play turn one. No, we have to, we have Anchor, we have Anchor, I don't really think it's gonna be too important. With Anchor, yeah. Maybe go for the ice, in just in case. Most room more focus, in, but I don't think we're gonna play that early. I really don't. I want an artifact right now, really badly. I'm really one of the holograms or like the static in case we get it early. I mean, we're not gonna play it. We're not gonna play it early. Fuck. I'm really a hologram in case we have to play it early, just so we can like not exhaust it. I think it's the only like reasonable thing here at this point. Helix, Master Strat. <sighs> no artifact. Um. Master of Strat would be. would help. Medkit? You want to get Medkit? Good idea. Let's get the med kit. I love med kit. Toolbox could be artifact. Yeah. Now with the pocket watch, I feel like we should be able to draw the the necessary cards fast enough. If we absolutely need to. It could be artifact though. Random colors. If it could be panacea, it could be panacea. That would be insane. Do we just buy it and just hope for panacea? Definitely want to, like, we could remove a card. Um, madness, not too great going into heart, I feel like. It feels like clog at this point. One Madness I can maybe deal with, but two would be a bit, bit like XD. Rip and Tear also kind of has fallen off. This this card has fallen off as a Yeah, you know what, this is the one card I remove, if, if anything. That card is not, not doing much right now. For sure. Could Panakea, could be discovered into core search. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do we just go for it? Master Strat would be the re I guess, I guess the somewhat reasonable choice here, but... Uh, we have Ink Bottle on one. <laughs> and we have Pocket Watch, I feel like, yeah. We also have Bag of Prep. We have a Gambling Chip. Like, we have, it, it's funny, we have like, we didn't get the Lightning Bottle. 
We didn't get bottle lightning, but we got a pocket watch. We got <laughs> a gambling chip. We got an ink bottle, and we got a bag of prep. Like, we have so many tools to just dig into that fucking deck to find what we need. Toolbox chat, let's go. Is this still chaos? Is that still a good potion, or do we want energy? I feel like energy would be kind of more potent at this point, though. Just having energy to play things. Well, actually, no, this placed them for free. Uh, this just placed them. It just placed them for free. Jack of all trades. Forethought. That's garbage. Jack, go. Here's the thing, though, Chad. You know what, what, what Toolbox actually does? It increases our starting hand, meaning we can discard more cards with the gambling chip, one more card with the gambling chip, and, and then, uh, through that, also draw one more card. Think about it. I'm not gonna play that this early, I think. I wanna, a Drake Glacier we can draw, cool. Do, can we draw Turbo? No, okay, that sucks. Hmm. Mm, yeah, Edge would be a bit nice, but we have a boot sequence, I guess. Uh, and Glacier. We have Madness. That's gonna be free. What is the upgrade of Jack? What's what's Jack and Ultra Oval Trades upgrade? Does that mean it doesn't exhaust? Add two. Oh no. Two random. No, we don't want two random. Could, or do we? Do we? Do we want it? <laughs> okay, Yolo. Let's upgrade it. Let's upgrade. Let's just go more Yolo. Uh, sure. I, I, Ball lightning. I don't think we're gonna play. I will draw glacier and defrag. Sure. Anything is good. Skim. Okay, free skim. Oh, hello. Well, we got card draws kind of solved. We got 23 plus... We need a little bit more. Really want to... Um, oh, we're cyclist there. Look at that. Goodbye, Mind Blast. Mind Blast turned out to be a good thing. It gives me things to recycle, meaning I get more energy. Cool. I, okay. Frost Knight? Frost Knight, I would say, is like, at this point, late, late, late game, is the most powerful relic in the fucking game at this point. Like, it's so good. It's not really the best, most powerful in the game, but it's so strong, though. It's so strong, though. We're almost at the point of drawing turbo. We could actually draw us do zero points game again, but we have to like we have to make this hand to go away somehow to do that. If we want to do that, which we can do by doing drawing. Yeah, let's pop this first. Can you say purple burglar alarm? Purple burglar alarm. YOLO Oh, free glacier, let's go That is nice Okay <laughs> We're not too far from turbo, that's like kinda, that's, that's funny I think at this point we want to just glacier block and then Keep a uh, Keep some, keep some card for next turn, cause next turn can be Next turn against these guys You know what chat? It's kinda garbage I'm gonna keep it, keep my hand Turn two against these guys. Ten times four. I don't like it. We need two more card for turbo. We also got to empty some of our hand. I could have seen this coming. Uh, boom! Get out of my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can draw two more cards. Two more just turbo. And then we can use Turbo to draw Equilibrium, which we kind of know what to play. We're going to play Static, we're going to play Electrodynamics. Yeah, okay, so let's, let's pop that. Get, actually, do we get Skim? We can actually 
Get Recycler for more energy. Or... We're gonna draw a card now, but it's gonna be a Sender's Bane. We draw the next card with Sweeping Beam. It's gonna be Turbo. But is Turbo enough to play all of this? Or do we exhaust something? No, we wanna get Turbo, because when we play Negosu, we wanna play Electro on this. So... Wait. What do we get Glacier, just for safety? Oh man, if Rosna is, is, is such a long run moment. Turbo Colon, thank you for tier 1, man. Uh, okay. So what do we want to do? We're gonna get 3 energy plus 3, right? Turbo is 3 energy. Six months of watching scuffed 5 energy. Game. Honest thoughts about darkest dungeon, though. Shit. Um... Do we just use Recycle then? I, I honestly, we can just get rid of the Streamline. I think this is the solution to this fight is going to be just playing... We have only... We don't, we don't have much block. What are, we, what, are, what are we blocking with? We're blocking with fucking jack shit. Let's get to the Glacier. Okay, we're Consume Electro? We lose one Frost Orb, that's kind of sad. We already have 20. Six, 24. Six, six. Electro will push the frost and give me 6 armor, 6 armor more, then we have uh, 33 plus 6, 9, 39. We take 1 damage if we, we pop Electro first. Okay, good. Next time it's gonna be hologram and defragment. We can live with that. We don't have much frost orb, so that's kind of whatever. Okay. Oh, <gasps> burns! Fire damage. All right. Potion, I think. Cosmic Potion, but it worked. Great turn. Fuck Streamline. More burns based. Zero cost, any good uh, to keep? We can keep a uh, skim for later. Okay, so no, normally I guess it would take more damage here. 
Uh, we have Nunchuk at 9, this on 7, that should be fine. I'm gonna just kill him with this. They're both on 9, that's actually perfect, look at that. Going strong into this heart. Data disc? Very good. Cool. I think this is a take. I'll take it. That's actually the card. Master strat. What am I if I do? Top deck apotheosis, master strat. What's the drop looking like? Okay. Not gonna pop that. Not gonna pop that unless we get a equilibrium. Uh, hmm. Not gonna pop it based yet, I think. Or maybe I should. Maybe I should just pop this. And then we still just keep the focus later with Neconsume. Yeah, I think we just pop that. Actually. Can my ass draw an equilibrium? Yes, it can. Cool. In that case, we want all of these cards. Cool. Apotheosis. Boot sequence. Turbo. Defrag. Biased. Master Strat. Oh cool, we got the Liquid Equilibrium for uh, for week. Nice. Control the streamline immediately? B uh, w. W. Mm, maybe keep the throw that that? This is a really good turn one against heart. We have 10 focus. Hocus pocus, there's pizza on your focus. 12, 12, and then we have uh, to go for the ice, and we have... Um, we're gonna draw an equilibrium, unless... Car unless the f f piece of shit fucks me. But otherwise, I think this is fine. We don't want to get the f lighting in there. We want to keep these two and walk the next turn instead. Alright, I'm vulnerable. He's made for 3 times 15, 45 damage. Uh, I'm sure we can deal with that. Only got a wound. Nice. Okay, well... I'm going to dual cast this. This initial shield going. I'm going to hit you with that. Get the energy back. And I consume. And then I want to pop uh, this. Free sweeping beam. Okay, that was not like optimal, but... Next turn is terrible. He's gonna attack big next turn, like big attack. But we do have, we do have a... Uh, we might as well draw out, we could draw out this burn. Or we could actually, you know what? Let's uh, go ahead and uh, equilibrium this. Twenty-seven, fourteen. We want more frost. Should be good. Yeah, for the block. Go. Fifty. I drew a void, but I I have turbo, so I'm chilling. You want to keep the barrier up, I guess. Goodbye to that. Now you might as well evoke all of these because next turn we're gonna have um, uh, just an XD turn with. Uh, we can draw ball lightning. Do that. Uh, okay, but we have we have only a three slots. It's not the end of the world. There goes the barrier, I guess. XD. Got the void. Got to go for the ice on uh, retain. He's gonna have artifact next, though, isn't he? Hmm. 
We have equilibrium on. Next turn it's gonna be a void. Do we can we can we draw that? Hmm. I want to get rid of the voids, but because there's one void there, and there's like so many fucking voids. But we have a re we have a cycle we can use in emergency. We also have hologram for uh, a bunch of shit. A free cool level. Sure. Why didn't I recycle the burn? The fuck's wrong with me? I draw both of them. That's the thing that can happen sometimes. Apparently, forty-seven. Huh. Wow. They consume at the bottom. Okay. Double voided. That's not. That's that's unfortunate. I think I popped Necognition too early. Necognition was a bit too early. I think. It let us get online, but at what cost? But uh, well, let's see. I really wish I had a capacitor. I can draw a boar lightning and a wound. I can't get anything back. There's something here I want to play like a lot, particularly. We could recycle an equilibrium to get like energy. But we can't... Yeah, we could do that and draw a bunch of stuff. Let me cook. The voids are gone. Our next one is not consume. Clockwatch is so good, man. Stopwatch is so good. 6 times 15 is... We're starting to ramp up a lot of damage here, man. But we can weaken him. Four times fifteen, that's the same as last time. It's not too much. Also do want to deal some damage. We could pop an I consume right now. Or we could simply just have orbs. We actually want to... Our, our ship has not activated yet, I think. So we want to just like... Boom. Take three. And now it's... It's it's it's, it's molding, seeding and coping. Which is nice. We're definitely full block here. We 
good damage when we get shields. Now I want to do this. We could sk skim and draw some shit out. Or can they consume? I think I think it's this one, more or less. He doesn't have that much health left. 36, we should be focused on doing damage right now. If I want to do damage, what I should do is skim out. Draw a bunch of shit. Turbo. Bam. Cool out. Recycle the burn. Now we should, our deck should be like out of all of those garbage. Yeah, we now we only our, our own void is all we have got to deal with. That's neat. Ninety-nine. Big fan of this. Cool of that, man. Oh, it is late. Turbo is also late. We get them both at the sp uh, roughly the same th time though. Do we just kind of chill here? I guess we do. Keep a fat hand. Can't kill him this turn, but next turn I guess we will. Is it, is it maybe GG? Who knows? I'm, I'm an insane person. I am genuinely unhinged. Playing a little bit safe. In 69 damage, we should be able to do though. Yes. Um. I'm gonna eat sandwich. <laughs> Waste an orb, but it's funny. It's a funny. It's it's you know. 38. 18, 18. Yeah. So we're gonna just like make the. Or this, we're gonna make the chip kill him. Boom. <laughs> See ya! See ya! Now you high five the cam- High five chat! Hi I'm gonna- I'm gonna bro fist the camera. Oh, we did it, we did it chat. GG. GG. That was a good run. That was a good run. Lucky run. We got the apotheosis start on defect, you know, it's kind of- that's how it goes. It's not about the glacier, it's about sending a message. <laughs> yeah, it's that easy. It's that easy. The the Pandora's box in Act 1, Act 1 was like... Kind of mid. It was kind of a mid Pandora's box, I gotta say. It was not great. But it, it, it worked. Slay the streamer? No, if anything, uh, if, if I'm gonna change like what I do, I'm gonna change to Fortnite. Fortnite. Good game, though. It didn't feel like the deck was gonna work a lot of the time. I feel like the reason we were able to do this is because we got Bag of Prep, we got Ink Bottle, we got Frozen Eye, Gambling Chip. Pocket Watch was kind of a big deal in, in the hard fight. What was the deck? I can show you. Uh, can I show you though? <laughs> I gotta go into the compendium, I think. Uh, let's see. Statistics, maybe. Run history. Yeah. Um, 
we started with a a rare card start apotheosis that's what we started with um for seven max health and then from there on we just kind of built like this awkward kind of an awkward like deck honestly we picked up uh yeah we picked up that we picked up a streamline and a uh The, the double hits. The, the hits like once and tw two, two times on random targets. I forgot the name of it. Um, we picked up those to do the damage early, and then we got a glacier, and then we kind of just like won. It was it was it was it was, was kind of like a, a free win at some point. And the only things I upgraded because we didn't have like a, a, a anything odd reasonable to the bonfires. When I got to a bonfires, I would just upgrade like my card draw, and hologram and like stuff that you know mattered. Some of these were already upgraded though. Turbo, for example. Very long, very much thinking, but good run. Yeah, dude, f when, when you do get into, like, the whole drawing cards and playing with Frozen Eye, like, you, you rarely afford this card, but when you have a deck that is, like, I can use this really heavily to my advantage, uh, it's super good. It's it's insane. When I had, like, a, like you know, I start with, uh, with, with... When you start, like, Frozen Eye and Gambling Chip, that is, is genuinely stupid because now we have we have an option to like count we literally are counting cards it's like that scene in in, in the hangover where like the guy is like just has the fucking uh, the mathematic equations going over over his face like just count how many cards down is the card i want okay it's it's three cards i discard three cards then i get it like it's you're you're st you're you're like uh you, you know what everything is just gonna happen it's just stupid hello i uh, Moonshot, thank you for the Prime. I think Frozen Eye just carried this run. Honestly, Frozen Eye carried the run. Like, no, no, no joke. It was really good. That and, uh, and uh, just being able to dig through my deck. I don't think, I, th I think the defect is, is good at doing that already, but like, again, the, the bag of prep and the gambling chip. Gambling chip for sure. This, this, and this carried the run. Everything else was supplemental. What about Slade Streamer? With bets being to aim for a specific relic, uh, I think it's. I mean, it's it's fine. So like, so this little streamer has like this weird thing going on where like it's it's in the beginning, it's super easy because I can craft my own deck out of like the most broken garbage, right? And then you give me cards after that, and like as 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 the game goes on, I get weaker and weaker, and. Uh, the game gets the more the more and more difficult. So it's like in the beginning it's super easy. In the in the late game it's super hard. That's what that's what Slay the Streamer basically is. To me at least. Because like in, again, like in, in the start, like Oh I am gonna build a deck with uh, feed and uh, emulate, uh, and we're also gonna have uh, just a just emergency stronger off or like you know, <laughs> at that point it's kinda wild. Goon names mod is scuffed, but should be done in a week or so, Chief. Goon names? What's goon names? Arthur, do you want to play Fortnite at some point? I'm guessing it's it's actually already getting a bit late for where you are, but... You're down? I could, I could definitely do this in Fortnite. But my, my streams now are like, I play Spire for a bit, then I play Fortnite with Art, and then we, we, we go back to Spire again. I don't mind it though. Also, I, I may or may not be cooking. I, uh, I, I, I made some. I, I, I've been filming some clips. I've been filming some videotapes in Fortnite, and uh, the, the, the. I kind of feel like compiling them into a, a, a thing, into something in, in, a, in, a, in the furnace. Uni, thank you for T one. Ever played a bullet hell game like Toho? Yeah, I played the... What's the name of it? What's the name of it? Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon. That is the one. There was one more though. I played I played, I played like two bullet hells. I played two total. Undertale. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it kind of is. It kind of is. Yeah, I played Undertale. That was a good game. Good bullet hell. Can you send me a pipe bomb? I had this idea. Okay. I had this idea. I've been I've been contacted by a lot of like plushy 
marketers, like they make like plushies for YouTubers and like companies. So I was thinking, what should my plushie be? It should be a pipe bomb. Wouldn't that, <laughs> or a bomb, a bomb. I think a bomb, a boomba would be good, would be a good plushie. Let's make it a bomb. <laughs> That's what my plushie would be, I think. I can I can literally sell sell bombs. <laughs> that <laughs> it would really it would really work well with the channel. I can just sell you guys bombs. Uh, or a, a bomb with like Neko eyes or something. I, I don't know. It would be uh, something like that would be definitely cool. <laughs> Neko bomb. But how hard do I want to brand fucking ne Neko hyper? I don't know, man. Certainly, a Japanese video game company will uh, sue me for plagiarism. Twenty twenty three Fortnite comp before the Elden Ring vid. Mm, yeah, most likely. If if it's if it's gonna come out, it's, if, if I start working on it, then yes. Because uh, Fortnite, when you make a Fortnite video, you gotta keep working on it. If you have a a, a, a cool clip and you let the cool clip rot, you, r you record the clip and don't do anything with it for a long time. Suddenly, you don't have access to the replay of that clip, so you can't have cinematic shots of it. Um, a lot of things r become very difficult if you let time pass after recording a clip in Fortnite. If I want to recreate something, let's say, because sometimes th things have happened in Fortnite and I didn't save the replay and I could like recreate it, but then like I don't have the correct skins to recreate it. Uh, like a lot of things get really difficult if you don't have a, uh, if, if you don't if you if you don't make the Fortnite video fast. Because when I make those, I like using a lot of like replay uh, footage. The replay, the replay in Fortnite is actually that's a sad thing. The replay engine in Fortnite is kind of garbage, but it it's not it's okay. It's like it's decent, but it's the best one. It genuinely is the best one. There are so many one other ones that are like every other replay engine I've seen is fucking trash. The PUBG had just one was dog shit, like. If you're if you're making a cool clip to post on Twitter, it's good. But if you're trying to make an actual cinematic thing, it's garbage. Or what's has a great one? SFM, yeah, I've seen a lot of that on Pornhub. It was great. Uh, good good angles, you know, good visual effects, good models. Ten out of ten. Love it. Uh, do we play Fortnite? Or I, I kind of want to do one more. But Ott's gonna go to bed soon. Hmm. We just, we, we just did a two and a half hour. Was that the first run? Was that the first run of the day? Two and a half? Yeah, it is. Six, seven, it's two and a half hours. One run. That is that is crazy. Have you ever tried Crypto the Necro Dancer? I have not, no. Do one more, I'm watching in public. You, you want to watch the Fortnite stream? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Huh. I'm gonna get some food real quick though. Hold up. I, I wanna see if I can get two in a row. Two, I, I wanna see if I'm able to do two heart wins in a row. That would be like... Because uh, I've done heart wins in A20 before, but can I do two in a row? That would be cool. Bubba G. Wait, wait. Both the prime also.
I forgot the water. I forgot the water? The water. Yeah. I have I still have the side. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go Google and coin flip. Do we do Fortnite or do we do this? This is gonna be a Google coin. I had three hours of sleep last night. I think I'm gonna go sleep early this time. Okay. Yeah, then I guess uh just do that. Then it's uh, spire. It's a uh, spire time. Go watch the darkest and darkest Anderson dungeon video. I should. I probably should watch it. I probably should watch it. Do we watch it? Do we watch Joseph Anderson talk about darkest dungeon so I maybe understand the game? I kind of want to. I kind of want to have more. I, I kind of want more input on the game. On Darkest Dungeon, I'm interested to hear it. Let's list Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon reviewing critique. It's 30 minutes. It's only 30 minutes. It's not that long. Let's give it a watch. Let's do a Albino react. The following video is both. It's gonna be spoilers, but I don't really care too much at this point. A review and a critique of Darkest Dungeon, a dungeon crawler that was released by Red Hook Studios in January of this year. The first five minutes will only have minor spoilers. I show two bosses and explain some of the game's fundamentals. I'll include another spoiler warning further into the video when I go into more detail, and you can decide then if you want to stop and play the game yourself. As always, if you prefer to play games completely blind, then you shouldn't watch any of this at all. There are multiple ways to judge a game and determine what it does well. When it comes to reviews, objectivity is vital, and it's the job of the reviewer to do their best to separate their own bias in order to give the game a fair evaluation. This is, of course, impossible to do completely. You can't switch off personal taste or preferences, but it's still important for them to be acknowledged. An example outside of games being that I hate sushi. That doesn't mean sushi is bad. I'm the problem, not the food. However... I wish more people did this. Not just reviewers, but like literal people in real life. No, people don't do this, but they should. Games are made of so many different parts that objectively measuring at least some of them is usually possible. The list shown right now has some of the usual suspects that can be appraised quite easily. Does a game look good? Whether we're talking about graphics or aesthetic, it's often easy to view a game and see how much of its visuals are impressive. Same goes for technical performance. Either the game runs well or it doesn't. It's a oh buggy mess or it isn't. For Darkest Dungeon, some of these are quite Don't easy to me. judge. The game's graphic novel style is fantastic. Everything looks great and fits with the game's gothic theme, from the characters, to the monsters, to the horrific hallways in the background of every dungeon. The music is moody and suitably understated. The ambient noise in each dungeon fits the theme of each area. The Warrens especially does this well, with the squealing of the monstrous pigs getting louder as the light on your torch goes down. It all feeds into the game's atmosphere. The story is light on details, and that's perfectly fine. It's a game about the psychological stress that dungeon crawling could inflict on a group of heroes. And everything from the way every dungeon is filled with corpses and decay, to the dreary state of your home base, which is meant to be your safe haven that is barely more welcoming than anything else in the game, reinforces this idea. When it comes time to look at the rest, objectivity becomes more difficult. My last video was on Tomb Raider. I made a comment about how the first games in this series had awkward controls, when was this video? 2016. Okay. When it came to really basic That's things like go. running and jumping. It's pretty much a fact that Lara Croft controls better in the new series. You can tell because Joseph is using his old microphone and it sounds super, it sounds really bad compared to like his current videos. But that doesn't mean the gameplay is better, just different, since the older games built their challenge around those controls, so even something as seemingly obvious as that is difficult to judge. But we can wipe all of this away for an even broader distinction on how to evaluate a game. On one side, you have the game the developer set out to make, meaning how well done or close is the final product when compared to the goal stated at the beginning of the project. And on the other side, how good is the game aside from that? Meaning, if you don't know or simply don't care about the developer's intentions, how much did you enjoy the game? The reason I'm taking the time to separate these on the screen like this is because my thoughts on each side couldn't be more different. On the left here, I think that Red Hook Studios absolutely nailed the idea that they had when they set out to make this game. It's not perfect, but the end result is on the money. 
But on the other side, if I'm judging the game with my own preferences intact and removing any authorial intent on the part of the developers, then Darkest Dungeon is one of the worst gaming experiences I have ever had. Even after the DLC and updates, the critique still holds up. If anything, DLC makes it worse, Kek. Cheers, Joseph Anderson. That's, that's true and real. Ah, the worst game I've ever played. <laughs> he couldn't be more on the money. If you don't know what a dungeon crawler is, then allow me to explain it briefly, or at least how it works in Darkest Dungeon. The footage that has been playing so far may have given you the impression that you play as a team of heroes that go down hallways and slay monsters. This technically isn't true. The game's opening movie sets the stage for the story. You come from a long, wealthy, noble line. You've left home for some reason, and in your absence, your rich ancestor has squandered the family fortune on investigating a mysterious power that is meant to be hidden under the family estate. He was eventually successful in finding said power, and he is promptly driven to madness by the horrors that it unleashed. He writes you a letter saying that you need to return home to fix his mistakes, and then shoots himself in the head. This ancestor is the game's narrator, and his ghost constantly talks at you while you play. It's one of the game's best features, even though the writing sounds like he eats an entire thesaurus for breakfast every morning. Monster's size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. So while you have some level of control over a group of heroes, you're actually playing as the town. Nothing confirms this more than moments during gameplay when heroes can refuse orders, or decide that they have a better idea on what they should do. From here, the game is split into two halves. You choose the region that you want to run and assemble a team of four from your pool of heroes. Then you go through the dungeon with those heroes and give them commands while killing monsters and collecting treasure. If you're successful, you can use this treasure to fund upgrades in town that can be used to make your hero stronger. The stronger your heroes, the more difficult dungeons you can run. Mm -hmm. The more difficult dungeons have more treasure that you can spend on more upgrades. This is the gameplay loop of Darkest Dungeon. It's what you're going to be doing over and over and over again. You spend a lot of time in your town tinkering with heroes and upgrades. This is all very simple. You're ticking off boxes if you have the right heirlooms in order to fix up buildings. There are similar boxes for upgrading your heroes that require gold. It's the dungeons that are the real meat of the game. Combat is turn-based like traditional RPGs. There are rounds and every character, enemy and hero, usually only has one move they can make for each one. There are quite a few twists that Red Hook Studios have put in to try to make turn-based combat interesting. The most important is that health isn't the only thing you have to worry about. Stress is another meter that fills up when you take damage instead of depleting like life. At 100 stress, a hero will break and become afflicted with things like abusive or paranoid. They'll begin to question your orders and inflict stress damage on the rest of your party. At 200 stress, they'll have a heart attack and likely die. There are four different regions on the dungeon map. The Ruins, the Warrens, the Cove, and the Weald. After completing enough dungeons in one region, a quest to kill a boss will unlock. There are two of these in each region, plus the titular Darkest Dungeon that sits at the peak of the map as your end goal. I'm getting far enough into explaining the game now that it's becoming awkward to avoid spoilers, so I think here is the best place to split the video. If you think what I've said so far sounds great, then maybe you'll enjoy Darkest Dungeon. I am certainly in the minority when it comes to disliking it. I can't really explain my reasoning without getting stuck into detail about this game. The spoiler warning is mostly for those who want now to get into the, into the themselves meat. and work out their Why own is bad, Joseph, tell the me. Game. There's also a story moment near the end that's spoiled. Development of Darkest Dungeon was funded through Kickstarter oh God, and then microphone. sales while it was available on Steam in their Good early Lord. access program. Many have said that the game is a shining example of early access done right, that the game was made available with a decent amount of features, that frequent updates were made, and that the developers listened to feedback from players. I didn't play the game while it was in early access. It looked interesting enough that I decided to make a video on it specifically when it was fully launched. I purchased it at Christmas and only played it for about an hour before its official release. For making this video, I played the game for over 80 hours. That's how long it took me to finish it. I completed it without turning Jesus. off any of the difficulty options that can make the game easier. I went through the entire game as the developers seemed to have intended players to do. I leveled one of every hero to the cap and killed every boss. I saw the game's ending. I say all this because the vast majority of the reviews I've seen on the game are from people who haven't finished it. Even reviewers on big name sites, which I won't name out of courtesy, didn't finish the game before reviewing it. Which would be really strange, but if you play the game for long enough, I think you can start to understand why. There are quite a few reasons why I hated my time with Darkest Dungeon, and I'm afraid that word there, we go. hate, is very much genuine. 
This isn't some <laughs> okay. book I'm using like, I hate the game because it was so good, I was addicted. Or, I hate the game because it's so hard but so rewarding. I meant it seriously when I said earlier that Darkest Dungeon is one of the worst times I have ever had with a game. The four main reasons are, turn-based combat is boring, and over-reliance on random- No. That- This- The first one is- Okay, so, you- the turn-based combat in this game is boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mess ...to provide the illusion of gameplay depth, a massive grind, and a lack of variety in gameplay. Now, I'll explain all these in probably too much detail in just a moment, but I quickly want to address what I think most people will dislike about this list, that turn-based combat is boring. I will freely admit right now that this might be another case of, I don't like sushi. If you think turn-based combat is fun, then I'm not saying you're wrong. I'll give my reasons for disliking it soon enough, but in general terms, I think it's a very difficult type of gameplay to get right and Darkest Dungeon does not succeed in doing so. Let's look at older games that use a similar system, the early Final Fantasy titles, Chrono Trigger. These are some of my favorite games. These were like part-time, you had like a timer that went down, right? I don't think they're actually turn-based, they're like they're like a partial turn-based, at least Final Fantasy VII. Recognize that the basic version of turn-based combat isn't engaging. They tried to mix things up with having it based on time as well, to reward players who can make decisions yeah. quickly. There was also a sharp focus on progress between combat. In Final Fantasy VII, it was leveling up materia. In Final Fantasy VI, it was about permanently imbuing magic onto your characters through Magicite. In other Final Fantasy titles, you had jobs that filled a similar role. The stories here were also major draws for players to get the game. In Chrono Trigger, you had the beginnings of context-based skills. An enemy would do something in a certain ability that you had, usually belonging to Chrono, since he's the only character guaranteed to be in your party for almost all of the game, could prevent a big attack or make an enemy vulnerable to taking damage. You had some light decisions to make. Plus the tech system in that game fostered party teamwork and it was really interesting to see how different techs mixed together. Because without these twists, turn-based combat can be summed up by one sentence. Make sure you spend some turns healing damage or else you die. That's the whole game. So it's understandable that recent games try to add so much to the turn-based foundation. On top of the job system, 2012's Bravely Default allows you to bank turns and use them all in one go so you can save actions on your healer to undo a big damage spike, or save up moves on a damage dealer for a huge combo when an enemy is vulnerable. But even that game seems embarrassed about its combat system, since it allows you to fast forward through it after you're tired of seeing the same animations over and over. Many of the features that Darkest Dungeon implements are in a similar line of thought. There's the massive amount of progress- I think like, when it comes to those like those games that like if, so Final, Final, Final Fantasy VII did the same thing. In Final Fantasy VII, I wanted to fucking kill myself after playing it for like one hour, because I walk for two centimeters and I want to explore an area, and it goes, and it goes into a fight, and I have to fight the same fucking crab or like a goblin or whatever the fuck it is a million times. I'm not allowed to walk around because I can't. Get, yeah. Oh good lord, fuck that. Combat. Upgrading all the like it was too grindy. I couldn't even be begin to play it. Buildings in your town, and then investing resources in your characters. Along with stress, your heroes can receive quirks. Some of these are positive, most are negative. These are assigned randomly and have absolutely no connection that I noticed with what happened during your dungeon run. One of many examples being a guy that received a quirk related to the cove after completing a dungeon in another area entirely. You can spend resources to remove these negative quirks or massive amounts of money locking some of the positive ones in. There are trinkets to find and skills to purchase and upgrade. Heroes gain levels. It's all about filling up checkboxes and progress bars. Initially, it's interesting and addicting in that way that leveling systems always are. You're getting this steady increase in power. But eventually those bars and checkboxes are just those, linear progression paths disguised as frivolous choices. Quirks don't really matter that much, and since you can change what abilities your hero can use in the middle of a dungeon the run- What is happening with the faces? Really Quirks don't really- what the hit? Boxes are just those linear progression paths. Whenever he clicks the upgrade, choices. they get like flesh. Flesh. Quirks don't really matter that much, and since you can change what abilities your hero can use yeah. in the middle of a dungeon run, it doesn't really matter which ones you invest in when you're in town. More effort went into making the combat side of things fun instead, and this is where there's some spillover on the list with the over reliance on randomness and the amount of grinding required in the game. The intention here was to make combat stressful and to keep you in suspense, and I think that Red Hook was successful here, but for all the wrong reasons. Death in Darkest Dungeon is permanent. When a character has a heart attack or gets taken down to zero HP, they are put on death's door. Once there, any damage received has a chance to kill them, so they could take multiple hits and luckily survive, or they can die on the first hit they take after being put on death's door. 
any heal takes them back up to safety, but with a debuff that lingers for the rest of the dungeon and that lowers their effectiveness. Numbers in the game are kept low, levels only go from 0 to 6. The highest HP I ever saw on an enemy was around 250 or so. The highest crit I saw while playing was I think about 60. The numbers are meant to be manageable and understandable, so that when they do start getting high into the double digits, you begin to get really worried and stressed out over the fear of losing one of your heroes, who is, once dead, dead forever. I'll come back to this Yikes. in a minute. For the rest of combat, well, most games usually provide challenge to the players in one of two ways. They test your reflexes or knowledge. Puzzle games, as an example, are usually always about knowledge and implementing solutions learned from past lessons. Some puzzle games like Portal have a mixture of both when they require precise timing on the player's part. Then there are games like Dark Souls that you think are all about player skill. You learn how the mechanics work and get better at learning when- Dark Souls about skills? Listen, all you gotta do, just summon Leroy and kill the Pinwheel. You win the game, there you go. To attack, dodge, block, etc. But one of the interesting things about that game is how you can also play it by gathering knowledge learning boss weaknesses and exploiting them, recognizing how some of the items the game gives you can trivialize encounters, to the point that I sometimes wish the series had a hard mode where this wasn't possible. Darkest Dungeon is firmly in the knowledge camp. While playing, you have to learn what skills are available to every hero. You have to learn what heroes do better than others in each region. There's a set of three main resistances that enemies can have, prot, which yep. lowers physical damage, and then blight and bleed damage. Enemies in the ruins are highly resistant to bleed, but vulnerable to blight. Enemies in the warrens are resistant to blight, but vulnerable to bleed. Some enemies have low prot and die fastest to direct damage. One of the most important things you can learn while playing the game is which set of heroes do well or badly in each region, and to select your party composition accordingly to deal blight or bleed damage. This knowledge continues in combat. You select and use the appropriate skills. Party formation matters a lot in this game, since heroes can only use certain skills if they're standing in a specific place in your party line. The Crusader can only use Holy Lance if he's in the back two positions. He's like going he over a lot of stuff that I already know. Strike, so I'm just like, I, I don't, I'm like, two. there's not going to be much react content coming from me here because it's like I already know this shit. Like, <laughs> Every class has I played the game. You know? and your knowledge is tested again in knowing the best place for each hero to stand relative to the rest of the party and their skills. The issue is, that's about it. There's nothing really left to learn. I want there we go. That's, that's, yeah. I agreed. I went into the game knowing nothing about it, and after a few dungeons, I grasped how this all worked. For the next 10 hours or so, I had some fun experimenting with different parties and taking different groups to each region. I learned what worked and what I imagine will be the same way that most people will. But that was just 10 hours in. It took me another 70 to beat the game. There are a couple of other things you need to learn, but these lessons happen organically while you're figuring out party composition. That you need an array of heroes that are capable of striking down pretty much any enemy position at the start of a battle and that you need to prioritize certain enemy types in each region. These are usually the monsters that inflict the highest amount of stress damage, since restoring HP is a lot easier than fixing a hero's sanity on the longer runs. I can't really emphasize enough how easy this game becomes once you reach this point. There are other bumps in difficulty I'll speak about soon, but I want to say now that in another game I would have started playing with more wacky party types and try to challenge myself with more interesting dungeon runs, but the game doesn't allow you to do that because of the aforementioned permadeath on your heroes. There is so much grinding yeah. in this game. A lot of it involves collecting heirlooms and treasure to upgrade the town, but an equally time-consuming... I think that's also like, because every turn, again, you only do one thing. Each character does one thing, and you don't know the order of the way you do things. So it's like, it's, it's very... You can't do much with it. You can have different enemy compositions, you can have different compositions on your team, but at the end of the day, you can only do, do like, four things per turn. Done. That's it. You just, you know... Meanwhile... Again, in the Spire, I, I literally just like, okay, how much energy do I have? How much does my deck have? Like, there's, I can like hologram back uh, a thing that I've made zero cost with the madness and fucking. Uh, to, there's so many things I can do in that game. It's it's in the the, the the level of depth between those games. They're like night and day, and in this game, that's why I think it's kind of boring because it feels like I'm just grinding for 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 looking at a number go up in the camp. And my, my only motivation for going into the dungeon is not because I enjoy the combat. It was just so I can look at the number go up and like I make them stronger, they do more damage, and they're like it's just, just a. It wasn't like I didn't feel clever doing combat ever. It, it, and also then you have the RNG on top of that. So I plan something and then like the enemy rolls like high high speed, and I was like, well now I can do anything. So the part is leveling up your heroes. Ugh. As it works now, they start off at zero and then hit one if they survive losing their dungeon virginity. Dungeons can be short, medium, or long, and reward higher experience with each one. 
but the experience isn't that much higher between them and, since the larger ones take longer to complete, the extra experience isn't really all that faster when compared to short ones that you can just rush through. It takes hours to level up a full party of four, and you can't stick with one group either since stress damage persists between dungeons. So you have to use the pub or the church in order to remove stress on heroes. This makes them busy for a dungeon run, so you have to take a different group of heroes out instead. Additionally, it takes a hefty amount of- Is Darkest Dungeon a roguelike? No, it's a dungeon crawler. Goal to continually upgrade your weapons, armor, and skills of your characters. So you're constantly grinding out more money and more levels, never really able to commit to focusing on one set at a time. This spreads resources thinly over many characters, instead of just a handful that you can level in a short time. This had the potential to be good, since it put stress on your decisions. In practice, however, it means you play the game as cautiously and tediously as you possibly can, because losing just one hero could mean you have to spend upwards of three hours grinding dungeons to get another hero of the same type back to that level. Here's an example of how quickly someone can die in this game. I have a Hellion on the front line. She's randomly selected to take a hit, which rolls a massive crit that deals more than 75% of her maximum HP. She's knocked down to death's door, and is then chosen for the next hit, and dies. That's at least three hours of grinding out done in that moment, and there was nothing I could do about it. This oh, is a way that permadeath hurts the game. It encourages careful, tedious Are you kidding me? any moments like this. This playstyle is also reinforced by several other key features in the game. Most notable of them wow. all is that high-level heroes can't run low-level dungeons. Dungeons have levels, Apprentice, Veteran, and Champion. These are in addition to the short, medium, and long modifiers. When a hero reaches level 3, he decides that anything below a Veteran rank is beneath him, and he refuses to run the dungeon. When he reaches level 5, he won't do Veteran ones either. He won't get out of bed unless it's a Champion dungeon. So if you lose a level 6 Hellion like I did, you can't even level another one up from 0 with a team of bodyguards. You either have to send a lowly newbie into the champion dungeons, because bewilderingly, you can force low-level heroes into high-level dungeons, but not the other way around. Or you can form a whole new low-level party in order to run apprentice dungeons oh. for your new hero. At this point, you might think I'm exaggerating the issue, and if I hadn't played the game to its conclusion, then I would probably agree with you. Because your if you play carefully, then losing a hero should be rare. About it. Relax. Relax. Good thing, good right? For the most part, it is. When I was running the four main regions, I think I only ever lost three level 6 heroes, and one of them was during a boss encounter, so this act of repeating the entire grind of the game should be rare enough. But once you start venturing into the darkest dungeon at the top of the map screen, the series of quests that end the game, things dramatically change. There are four missions to get through here, you need a full party of strong, level 6 heroes to get through it, as should be expected in the finale of any game. These dungeons are fairly tough, but mostly because there's a massive penalty for losing here. If you decide to abandon the quest before the end, one of your heroes will be randomly selected to die. So you have to guess really? what party formation will be best to send into these quests, and then go through with it. Luckily, I guessed well on my first go, and got through it with only minor difficulty. And then this happens after you're successful. The game is so unabashedly in love with its grind <laughs> that you can't use Wait. any hero twice. Heroes have returned from a successful quest in Darkest Dungeon have to be seen too much, and will never return. You are free to use them in quests in all the other regions. Okay. I am actually glad that I didn't play this game. I'm glad I, I just ditched this fucking game. And I'm watching spoilers now. Because then I don't have to play the game, get to this point, realize this shit, and I, well, I could probably just mod it out. I could probably just mod it. series of four quests. So if you have a party comp that you really like, you're going to have to level up a fresh set of them and go through it. I told you this was a thing, but in my mind, I remember that if I, I I remembered it was like opposite. I thought it was like if you fail, you can't try again or something. But I I, I forgot. It all again. Not to mention the characters you'll lose in your attempts. Anyone who has gotten to this point will have already learned the game systems and how to run every region. There isn't really anything left for them to learn and oh my to God. challenge them there. It's just a tedious slog through the same content over and over. And it's here that the game's lack of variety really hurts its gameplay. Whether a dungeon is short, medium, or long, they each have a given objective. There are only four different types. You either need to explore 90% of the rooms in a dungeon, win every battle in those rooms, find three objects scattered throughout the place, or find a boss and kill it. These are all functionally identical, and have you moving through the same rooms and killing the same monsters. They yeah. all end up requiring roughly the same amount of exploration through a dungeon before completing it. Boss encounters are the exception to the rule, but you can only kill them once on each difficulty rank before they're dead forever. Nothing proves how lacking the game is in quest variety than the game itself when it sends you through the Darkest Dungeon set, specifically the third quest. This is the best part of the entire game. It's the only time that it changes things up and has you doing something unique. 
your goal is to find a beacon somewhere in an absolutely gigantic maze of rooms and hallways. There are monsters you encounter that can teleport you to a random location across the map and force you to get back to your goal. <laughs> this was stressful and a great challenge of endurance and problem solving to Damn. estimate the quickest route back to where you were. And it's the only Yeah, shit like this seems fun. Any time in the entire game that a dungeon breaks out of its formula. Huh. If there had been more random events like this in other regions, and I mean a lot more, then suddenly that grind could be fun. The other solution would be to dramatically reduce it. That sounds ass. The definition No, like if, if the game did more random shit, yeah. I, I mean I personally I guess I didn't get to the point where like it became super grindy, but I I saw a lot of similarities even between the different dungeons. Like the the enemies that I face, okay, you have the they put the, the shaman is a place dressed in the back, you gotta pull them forward and like kill. Okay, so the sh the um the corpse enemy will explode after a certain amount of turns you kill him. Like you learn it pretty fast. It's it's it's, it's what it's saying. Like you, you learn the, the basics of each area you learn them pretty quickly. And then there's not much more, to, much more to pick up on. And then, like, it, they need more random shit like this. Saying that Darkest Dungeon needs more random shit is probably a, a bad idea, but, but it, like, random encounters or, like, different takes on the formula of what they're doing. Because everything, I mean, I saw a bunch of different missions, like the one that burn the hives, uh, collect the relics, explore rooms or, or win the room battles. It's all the same thing. Like, you, you explore the dungeon. The, it, the further you, you know. get into the game. Those bosses I mentioned in each region are recycled in the same way as everything else in the game. There are eight in total, two each in the Ruins, Warrens, Cove, the and heck? Wield. You fight them all on Apprentice, Veteran, and then Champion for a total of 24 times. Wait, really? You're never given any substantial reward or incentive for doing so. On the Champion levels, they drop trophies that are mostly really bad trinkets. This is a missed opportunity that feels curiously like an unfinished feature. When you clear some of these areas, the narrator pipes up and speaks like you're affecting some sort of change. This is especially true in the cove area after you kill the boss there. He says, Seafaring trade, the lifeblood of any port, can resume again now that the roots are safe. So if the port is now open after all this time, why doesn't anything change in the town? You're not given any extra supplies, no new tools. Since these bosses are currently optional, and there's nothing stopping you from throwing yourself at the darkest dungeon without doing them, this could have been a great way to reward players by alleviating the grind. How about, for every region that you completely clear out of champion bosses, that new heroes get a plus one to level. If you clear out all four, new heroes would come to you already prepared to risk champion level dungeons, and only require yeah. an hour or so of grinding instead of three to four. Or if Again, I didn't really reach this point, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I can only imagine getting a hero, grinding up to, to do Darkest Dungeon and only have one attempt per crew, like it's... Good lord. Both of DLC do something new. Crimson Court bosses are massive dungeons. Uh, you can leave any time and return back where you left off. And Color of Madness is endless. Wave to see how long you can go on for more kills, more loot. That's cool. Crimson Court was fucking terrible though. If you clear the bosses, that unlocks the ability to send high level heroes into low level. But defending a game by saying just buy the DLC is probably a bad idea. Dungeons for that region to make it easier to train up new recruits. There's a similar problem with the heirlooms you find. There are busts, paintings, deeds, and the crests of your noble family. They're needed to upgrade so dark. buildings in your town. Once you've upgraded everything, which is very likely to happen before you beat the game, you have nothing to do with the extra hundreds of the things that you'll find after that. There isn't even a way to trade them in for extra gold to lessen the grind. These could have been given a new use at this point, or an option to invest them in smaller upgrades. Ways that you can use heirlooms forever for incremental cost reductions on skill ups or the blacksmith. Quest rewards also suffer. You can't find weapons or armor in this game, only trinkets. Each hero has two slots and these items are downright awful. Most of them suck and come with heavy drawbacks. Again, this comes back to the developer's intentions versus the end result of the game. I, honestly, are... it, it's, it, I felt the same. You find a trinket and it's like, well, this thing just about fucks me as much as it helps me. We're back at zero. I, f I completed a challenge, I did a thing, and we're back at zero. Holy shit, how old is this video? 2016. It's meant to reinforce the idea that this is a harsh, stressful game that isn't going to cut you any slack. But because of this, trinket rewards are boring. I was rarely excited about what I got, especially- Yeah. Because that, that, that's the thing, like, you could literally just make the game harder and make the trinkets good, because then it feels like you're actually achieving something by finding loot, like, because it, 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 you know? Especially since the vast know, majority man. of good trinkets also increase the stress damage your heroes receive. 
many more trinkets could have solved this then they could have been kept hidden on the quest screen and you could have been randomly assigned a choice between three at the end so you have a higher chance of getting something useful and also a mystery keeping you going through the dungeon, you wondering what you're going to get at the end. Since the game embraces randomness so readily elsewhere, I think it could have been good to make a whole line of trinkets that get randomly assigned stats that you can alter and lock in just like quirks on heroes. This could have been another building in your town, a, a tinker tent or something, and another way to spend the heirlooms you collect. Randomness also severely hurts the game, and it's not just in combat. The example I showed earlier with my Hellion dying may have been the most frustrating moment I had while playing the game. I lost a Crusader in a similar way. What happened more often were dungeons where one hero was chosen by the game to be the run's punching bag. They would end up on Death's Door while every other hero is at full HP, or stressed out to an affliction while everyone else is low on stress and just chillin'. Everything is riddled with this extreme take on dice rolls, to the point that I consider the game the closest thing that could ever be made to single player Hearthstone. I had some dungeon runs that were crammed full of monsters in every hallway and room, and then another with literally only two fights in the entire thing, or the dungeon I had that completed after I finished one fight in just one room, all because of random chance. There are hunger checks that are completely random. You can go through hallway after hallway- They are, like aren't they? Yeah, I noticed. I was like- Aren't my, it's my I've, 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 I went through like half a medium dungeon now and there's no hunger check. And then the another dungeon, we do a small one and I get like fucking two. Like, every hallway has a chance. Yeah, so, but it's random. It's, like, it's not like, it's not like they are actually getting hungry. It's more like, maybe you will eat a lot of food. It's even, even the amount of food you eat is randomized. Like, really? They get hungry at a random rate? Good lord. To eat and then hit two checks back to back, or use food on everyone to the point that they're full and won't eat anymore, and immediately have a hunger check a few seconds later. <laughs> there were runs when quirks would trigger and- I, I had that happen. I ate on characters and got a hunger check immediately afterwards. It's just, It's always four. Some eat more depending on traits. No, yeah, it's always- Oh my god, chat. Chat, I know it's always four. The hunger shake is always four. When I say how much a character eats is random, I mean how often do they check for it. When you go through an entire dungeon, the amount of checks you get, the amount of food you eat by extension, is then random. That's what I mean. Heroes open every interactable object in the dungeon. This usually has bad results, since part of the game is learning what items you can use to cleanse these objects for extra loot. Even if you have these items in your bags, the game never gives you the option to use them when a hero decides to open something. There are only two real healing classes in the game, the Vestal and the Occultist. The latter has the strongest heal, but also the most random. It can do anywhere from 0 to 20 healing. It can also crit and has a chance of putting a negative bleed on your hero. Maybe I'm one of the most unlucky players in the world for this sort of stuff, but of whenever I ran with an Occultist in my group, they healed for 0 and 1 so often that I started to wonder if they were trying to communicate with me in binary. <laughs> oh my god. I was was I just lucky? Was I lucky with the occultists? Cuz I, I I didn't get that much heroes. The three worst cases of randomness are found in dungeon layouts, the tavern, and an ability a monster has toward the end of the game. Dungeon maps are randomized and because of this are never that interesting since every objective requires you to explore almost all of it. When you're plopped down into the middle of two divergent paths, you have no choice but to buckle up for a lot of downtime. It boggles my mind that this is in the game, and I'm hoping that maybe I missed some sort of teleport ability. Because you have to explore both paths to finish the run, so when you make it this all looks the way to the end of one, you have all this unavoidable backtracking to go to the other path. Dungeons should have always been made with a quick test to work out a clever, efficient way of navigating it all, not pointless time wastes. The tavern becomes a useless building when you learn that there's a chance heroes will lose trinkets when they go there for stress relief. They can get drunk and misplace it, or lose it while gambling. This oh my can be God. devastating if it's one of the rare trinkets that's actually useful. Really? It's never worth the risk to use the tavern. There's also always a chance during any stress relief that the hero will go missing for a week, or decide to stay in the building for an extra dungeon, meaning that you can never really rely on having them available for the next run. Good lord. For the monster's ability, it's the intentionally named The Finger that Red Hook is giving to its <laughs> player base. This has the Corpse Nate Finger. Potential to crit okay. for incredibly high HP and stress damage, and also puts a bleed on the target. This is doubly scary since characters who are on death's door have a chance to be killed by the bleed when their turn starts, before you can use a bandage to heal them. Numbers in general also don't make much sense, or at least they don't if you're looking for a consistency. 
Sometimes the game uses ratings, other times it uses percentages. Examples being that dodge chance is a rating, just a flat number, but bleed, blight, and stun resistances are percentage based. So you'd think that 100% resist means immune, but it actually means the percentage chance of the ability, say a stun with a 164% chance to hit, is compared to the 100% resist chance, which means it's a rating after all and not a percentage, but there are ratings in the game so why- Good point. That that didn't that never did make sense, but I kind of just went with it. To, to be honest, traps made me very angry before I realized this. They aren't given any resistance numbers; they're just traps on the floor. So my character that had a 100% or 135% chance to disarm a trap would very often trigger it instead, making me wonder why it happened. A similar thing happened on the second darkest dungeon level. You're given trinkets that are meant to prevent any damage, HP, or stress taken from an ability called Revelation. You can read the tooltip right now if you'd like. Yet they still did some damage, both HP and stress, even when characters had them on. Same goes for quests that ask you to explore 90% of rooms. What this actually translates to is that you can leave one room unexplored on short dungeons, two on medium, and three on long, no matter how many rooms there might be. I wish they had just made this a number instead of a percentage so you can better make decisions your first time through. While we're nitpicking here, I also wish you could fast forward through the dungeon recap at the end. It takes you can. slowly through each piece of treasure and heirloom every single time. You can. You can skip it all, but then you don't see your totals for the end. Very oh. strange decision for a game that's all about repeating content. Th I think this, didn't get, this gets fixed? Maybe you couldn't before, but yeah, now, now I just press next and it's like, done. Much. That was fixed. Nothing can sum up Darkest Dungeon more than the boss fight with the Collector. It shows all the good and the bad. It looks awesome. It oozes with the same atmosphere that the rest of the game has. How cool of a concept it is so, it to fight So it was really unlucky that I found them. ...against something that has apparently killed so many adventurers like you that he has a collection of their severed heads to use against you. Yet on the other side, this fight is randomly thrown at you in dungeons where you're meant to fight regular enemies, so you can end up against it when you're in a bad spot. It also takes forever, and you have to grind through so many mobs if you're unprepared to hit something on the back row. It's horribly imbalanced with its lifesteal ability, and the way it can simply summon more severed heads whenever you kill enough. The boss can spam this over and over. Almost all the bosses follow oh, this shit. pattern. They look awesome. They have some great backstories to them. Yet with only a few exceptions, all of them follow the same Yeah, I was, I was thinking, against the Collector, my strategy was like, well, is he gonna summon more heads if I go for them? Going for heads seems stupid. Because I don't know if he's gonna summon more. I could tr I could try it, but I feel like my best option was just to, to hit him. I got my second quest ever. Yeah, and it feels like my characters were not ready for that at all. 1% encounter, he either fucks you because you're not a party meant for it, or he just dies in turn 1. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You want to kill the DPS head? The chance of him resummoning increases with every dead head. Jesus Christ. Rules. Ignore whatever special mechanic they have and instead burn them down as fast as possible. Because whatever makes them unique is also what they can relentlessly spam. It's not worth dealing with the mechanics. Just use stuns and focus on the big cool looking monster. Playing this game was one of the purest examples I've ever come across that proves tedium and difficulty are not the same thing. It's a shame too because with some more variety and ways to circumvent the grind, Darkest Dungeon could be a very... That's it. It's like, you have a cool boss. It looks amazing. Yeah, that's what it's saying. Like, it, but same with, uh, with the Collector. In it, That could have been an interesting fight. But it turns out the only thing you do is just like, well, okay, so just see if it's... Every boss is, is a DPS check. It's just a DPS check. And, 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 and a DPS check is very different in this game to Spire, for example. Because in this game, it's like, either we roll the good numbers and have the right stats, or we don't. There's... that's it. Because you can only do four things per turn. So, and, and, and it's so random, so... It just feel, didn't feel fun at all. Or engaging. Yeah, if anything, this video makes me hate the game more. Like. <laughs> Enjoyable game. The moments where it's best are when you start to get worried that you're not going to make it through everything it's throwing at you. When you get to the end of a long series of battles, or one of the bosses in the final set, with your heroes half dead and close to afflicted. Somehow you manage a victory and you feel like you've accomplished something. But for me, the realization would always quickly come that I wasn't relieved that the boss was dead. I was relieved that I had avoided the extra hours of grinding that dying would have meant. Especially considering that most failed runs were the result of random critical hits from monsters, 
rather than poor decision making leading up to that point. That same feeling of tension could have been kept by making your heroes be knocked out of rotation for a few weeks, or any sort of punishment that's harsh enough to slow you down, but not in a way that's measured in hours. Because in the end, it's that grinding gameplay loop that I keep coming back to as the game's primary flaw, that cycle through the same dungeons with the same enemies. At the end of the game, the final boss is quite an easy fight. The predictable but still decent twist here is that the ancestor who sent the letter has been consumed by the evil in the dungeon. It was at this point that I was expecting the game to throw all the dead heroes at you, maybe a long gauntlet of fights against those who fell in your service so that it at least had some excuse to justify making your people stay dead, but it never happened. Instead, the fight is a victory lap. It's visually impressive enough, and it feels like there's a lot of tension behind it even though it's a lie. Then the story itself falls prey to that same cycle, that same loop that collapses into the grind. It's revealed that everything you did was for nothing, that maybe it wasn't even a temporary victory, and just a setback to the beginning with the letter being written again, and your ancestor killing himself again. There's another game that's just like this. There's the repetitive task you have to do. There's a loop of gameplay of saving up resources in order to unlock the next tier of repetitive tasks. The numbers get bigger as you go on. You continually oscillate between that, gather resources, spend them, and then move on to the next gather and spend. There's even the same eldritch horrific undertone that's a teasing stress on the sanity of the player. There it comes. It's called Cookie Clicker. <laughs> you should give it a try. Okay. That <laughs> yeah, there you go. Man. As always, thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It, the, the game... It's not for me. It's not for me. It doesn't have any, like... It's, it's, it's random, but not in a fun way. I'm sure it accomplishes... It's, 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 I know, it's just what it says. It's, it accomplishes what it's set out to do, but what it's set out to, what it's set out to do was not good. Not for me, at least. I had the exact same opinion. Yeah, it's just because like I was thinking, I was thinking to myself, what if the game gets more complex and interesting later? But how can it? How can it? You have six abilities every on every character. You can only have four on them, and you can only do one thing per turn. So even having four available is like kind of a stretch at some points. So like, you know, and it's too much grinding and too much RNG. Uh, has he ever finished synthetic? I don't think I beat the game, but I got pretty far, I think. Chat was split between people who liked and played and told you not to play it and people who have played it telling you to play. Yeah, it was very it was very split. You had so many people who were like like literally decorating the game as hard as I've ever seen anyone decorate any game ever. And then you had people who were like, yeah, this how is this game? How how are people enjoying this game? Which I think is is like a reasonable um is, is a reasonable reaction when you they see what's happening on screen because like it's just a stressful like Cookie clicking slot machine. Uh, it's I don't know. It sounds cliche to say that, but I don't know, man. XCOM two, once again, please. Lots of mods. Thank you for the bits. I have a I, I have Spire. I don't need it. I have Spire. I I'm I'm genuinely enjoying a game. A, a whole lot right now. I love this game. It's super great. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I love it. Um, I have no intent to change games anytime soon. There's a game called Vault of the Void that sounded cool. Um, which is like a card game. It's very positive. And Monster Train. Those are true games I'm looking into, looking to switch to at some point. Play Fortnite. I'll switch to Fortnite after this run. If it goes past Act 2. <clears throat> what is your opinion on Dead Cells and Hades? Okay, so if it wasn't your first time chat, I would think this was a joke. Because those are two games that I've like literally roasted to oblivion on this channel. <laughs> uh, Hades is a roguelike for people who don't like roguelikes. It's fun, it has a lot of good art direction, art style, fantastic, like, game. It's just that it's, it, won I beat the game relatively quickly, and then there wasn't much more to do with the game. Uh, so for me, I did that, and I, I dropped the game, because now there's not much to do. It was like, well, it's, it's over, but what else do I do? Um, and then it was, uh, was it Dead Cells? What was the other one? Was it Dead Cells? Dead Cells! That's what I have no criticism on. I don't know why I didn't like it. I don't, I don't, I'm not a game critic. I don't understand why I don't like the game. 
but it's not that I don't that I hate it. I just didn't think it was fun. It was fine, but I didn't like enjoy it that much. You know, I, really, I just did. I just didn't. It was. It was. Just, I think it was mid. I think it was mid. But it wasn't awful. It was fine. Perhaps I am just a person that just hates himself. Anyways, I enjoy the game because you have to make the worst out of the shitty situation the game's throws at you. Sure, that's not wrong with like, again. It's it's not. I'm not making. I'm just making reasons for why I don't like it. And if you like it, that's great. It's just a video game, like you know. <clears throat> will you come back to Baron this year? Maybe. No, I think it will be 2023 because uh, I was gonna play with a friend because it's multiplayer. I think it would be fun multiplayer. But he has uh, Chris. Everyone is like doing Christmas stuff right now with their family, so you know. I stopped playing Dead Cells when they started funneling you into a speedrun playstyle with new malaise and shit. I think that was like kind of cool, but I also don't like timers. But then, so like in in Isaac, I hate the timers. I hate being on a timer in Isaac. I think the 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 boss rush and hush check marks are really annoying. Um, but that's because you can spend that time doing a lot of things. You can spend that time really well by like exploring levels, taking time doing things, and like rigging. You can spend a lot of time rigging, basically. In Dead Cells, you don't really do that. You don't have the, the you don't have the you, you don't have those like resources to juggle and do a lot of crazy stuff. You, you, it's just like I don't know. You can take some little bit of extra time doing some things, maybe. I don't know. And Dead Cells does, does, does feel satisfying to speedrun also, I think. I think going fast Dead Cells was pretty satisfying. <clears throat> what interests you the most about Vault of the Void? I think I was... Hold up. Gmail. Business email. I think they were like offering to pay me to play it. Hold up. No, they didn't. Void. Okay, they didn't pay me to play it. <laughs> but it's a card game, it's a card game, and people say it's good. So, there's that. For a curse? Mm. Rare call a small woman in the last run, but we got hexagons too? Fuck me, man. Arcanium is fun like STS, but yeah, art style is rough. <laughs> yeah, probably. Opinion about Neon White? It was fun. I didn't finish it though. It kind of lost my attention at some point. Hmm. Elites are forced. We have to do an elite. There's no way around that. We can... Oh, the... Oh my god, really? It's two elites minimum, or we have to do an early burning. Wow. And then we get hexagons on top of all of it. What the fuck is this act, man? This is like... This is you die. You die here. You come welcome to the graveyard. I think in this case, uh, we have an option here for no, we don't have money option. Oh, we don't even have money option and it's level two shop. Wow. Either you get one, uh, two shops or you get well, actually you can do one shop and fuck off into elite. But my god, then you have, oh my god, dude. It's like, well, you can do three encounters. I guess that's reasonable, but then you get no shops. Fuck me. Upgrade, common relic. Rare, I think we have to do curse, red colorless, and remove and floor one. I think we have to do it. Because that's the only thing, we can, only way we can get like, we need quick power, we need quick power, that's it. We need to get fa quick, like fast, strong fast. 
And we're pretty re we're pretty very reasonably like likely to see a hand of greed or uh, or hand of greed and uh, apotheosis is like a two and two and five. How what cards do I want? Let's buy colorless cards. Let's look. A rare one. So we have one good card, two good cards, three good cards. Yeah, three good cards basically. Uh, Metamorphosis can be good. But realistically we have three good cards. Mayhem is like not good on defect. You replace the Kiro? Yes, the Kiro was okay. Maybe it's fun at tier, not good tier. Yeah, Mayhem is not good because it will, it will it will mess up your orbs. We got a curse for it though. Common Relic is not gonna be strong enough, most likely, unless it's a fucking Bag of Prep. But even then, it's not gonna be like. That's not, that's not like a Bag of Prep is not like a Act 1 insane relic. It's still good, but it's not like. But not a Meteor build? No. Oh, starting relic is, is suicide. Fuck it. Okay. And we got Verse. Yeah, so I guess Metamorphosis. Because it gives us attacks. It gives us attacks. So let's do that. Thunder Strike, Thunder Strike, and Ripping Tear. Okay. <laughs> See, it is. It uh, it uh, does. It's it's pretty good, sometimes. It can it can help. Uh, then we want scrape actually. Scrape we can play metamorphosis and scrape them. Dude, that's actually pretty sick. Wow. <laughs> we got a synergy already. Got that. Didn't expect that. Um. Let's spend this shop here getting a potion. Actually, we don't have... We can't afford it. I get, I'll get a beam cell, though. This should maybe let us do... Oh, we got Meteor. We got Meteor, XD. <laughs> okay. I will take a ball, I think, I think. Or maybe a rebound. A rebound could be very powerful here, actually. Since we have metamorphosis. Rebound is zero cost. Yeah, actually, I want to get that. Now we already we already did one card remove. Hmm. Seven, 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 eleven, bitch. We don't have any. Uh, we, we could get a beam cell. I mean, and lethal one then potentially. Let's try that. We did not get it, but we got lethal with that, so I guess it's fine. Okay, we took seven. That's not the end of the world. Is this, is this defrag or is it uh, steam barrier? I think it's steam barrier. I think it's steam barrier actually. Yeah, definitely it is. That's nice and comfortable. Neko form is uh, gonna be a. Uh, yeah. It's gonna help. Do we make a fuck? Do we do we want? Do we want six? Co okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> XD. Okay, this is a funny run now. Yeah, double thunder, go. What do you want to scrape them all out? A double thunder, obviously, is better. Dude, this is getting molested so hard. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. That was pretty good. Give me it again. <laughs> what is this card? 
card, man. What is this card? Okay. Wow. Huh. I don't. I don't think we do a thunder. I think we upgrade the scrape, or 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 brimstone next. We don't upgrade this yet. Well, we can actually. We can do it because we have scrape. Normally, I was. I would say upgrading metamorphosis is kind of a meme. We definitely want to upgrade this first, though. But yeah. No, I, th I don't think we need a Sunder in here. Uh, that's one Elite Molested. Uh, we could actually do a Triple then. We want to do Bonfire now and, and upgrade maybe Scrape or, or, or Beam Cell maybe. Maybe Beam Cell. We could, we could play safe and get a, a Ball Lightning though, in case it's a uh, Nob. It wouldn't hurt, we're also against Hexa Ghost. Five cards, throw one more card or apply. I think yeah, this is like. Yeah. In case it's Nob. I am a little bit scared of Nob. It was Nob. Barrage. Could have vulnerable in there. I could maybe lethal them actually. Nice. This is going really well, dude. That was really lucky. Damn! What a what a what a run, man. Holy crap! I'm 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 actually destroying this at least, dude. Nico four. <laughs> there, there. I mean, this is very good with bird face. I will say, it can save it. It can let us upgrade a lot more. It's three energy, but it will be a definite solution for this. Nico stocks are in. Self repair is the reasonable choice here. Next day. Gold plated? Yeah. It's gonna help us delete. Nobu. Chat? Is this run real? Did we just top the Neko form against a Gremlin Nob? Do we do this? Yeah, fuck yeah. It's fine. We will draw them now. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, what is this run, dude? What is this run, dude? What is this run? Hello? Are we get the cognition? Wow. Wow. If there was one little litter, I would do it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! What? What is this? Oh my god. I think we take 11 here, or we just pop biased. I think we pop biased actually. Because we have no cables. No, don't you've used up all your luck now. Ah. Uh. 
once and zero, 1% 1 of your rigging power bleeds into other games, this just unreal Neko Hyper. Alright. To finish it off, we just pop a fucking meteor shot, I guess. <laughs> oh, cool, have that maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I could use that. Data Disk Glacier, okay. No. Yeah. I think Data Disk is gonna be good here. Data Disk is just too good. I don't think I can say goodbye to Data Disk. Is Glacier on sale, actually? Can I, can I buy both? I can, okay. Yes. <laughs> I guess no metamorphosis for now. I don't want to take more damage than this. Yeah. Hey! Beam cell turbo. Turbo? Ice cream turbo? Let's go. I'm actually gonna go ahead and fucking upgrade this here right now because with with ice cream this is very 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 good. Like that. Oh, we got terrible cards. What the fuck? Hmm. We should be able to kill him in time, I'm pretty sure, XD. Alright, we got it. we did it. <laughs> Seek. Seek. Dripper. We have bird faced urn, but we cannot take this, and this is like meh. I think, I think, uh, Drip. Two of the worst fucking religion. Dripper? The worst? Let me show you. Some of this drip. I'm gonna take it just that, to spite that guy. Dripper is giga goated, dude. I need energy really bad. We have, like, Meteor Strike. I mean, the more... So, like, when I have ice cream... Uh, generating one more energy per turn it's, it's very good because then I just have a lot of ice cream. Now I want to just pick up a lot of card draw and shit, honestly. It's not shop moment. We can do encounter, the quieter, and then there, and then. But Montfair and decide what we want to do. Um, I don't think Burning Elite is, is it though. This is too many encounters in a row, and then you gotta decide if you wanna do an instant elite or just like cop out and do nothing the entire act. So I feel like we have to start here. If in a, yeah, in any case we have to start here. Well, I heal too, actually. Take a lot of damage though. That's a really unfortunate start. Double Glacier? Double Kulud?
Let's go in there. Okay. It didn't double. Oh shit. It didn't double. I clicked the wrong guy. I clicked the wrong fucking guy. I'm, I'm crashing. I'm crashing. I clicked the wrong guy. I can't believe I clicked the wrong guy. I didn't think. I didn't think. What's wrong with me, dude? Why didn't I think? My god. No mind to think. I have fucking dual cast and uh, or like I have it. Yeah. Echo form fucking meteor and shit. Goodbye. Now a defrag is like not too bad. Defrag now is fine. It, it even heals us, so yeah, I'll take it. Find some potions. Gambler's Brew Explosive. Um, flex is not a powerful focus is good, but I think a Gambler. I think Gambler. We want to we wanna just play the right cards. Thank you. It's 6 energy. We could just Meteor Strike the guy, or we could play Necro Form. I'm so lucky. Oh my god. I'm actually so lucky, dude. And I think I'll just heal. Wait. Heal well, I still can. Let me get a hyperbeam. Or that. Cool. Recycling this? I don't think. Hmm. Hi, Albino. Why are you not? Pro why are you no longer posting on YouTube? Uh, which channel are you referring to? Which channel? If anything, I want more card draw though. The, the albino main channel um I don't have time I'm making I'm, I'm, I'm making videos right now but they take they take time I mean we're currently on a four hour stream so it's like well how much time left do you have for for making videos right I think recycle could hurt us because we have the energy to play everything but we need to just draw those cards to play. Did you upload the Splunky clear? It's 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 in the process right now. We're having issues with editing it because it's it's such a big it's such a, it's such a big file. I tried to edit it today and add like an intro to it and shit, but then um YouTube or like my, my computer just shot itself. Or, or Premiere Pro did. And it desynced the old it, it, it had a bunch of like technical issues. It's kinda weird, but yeah. AIDS. Um Recycle wants an upgrade. We don't have the upgrades to give it. I think we're gonna we're gonna skip recycle for now. So we want to upgrade the uh, Seek, we want to upgrade uh, Defrag, we want to upgrade uh, Neko, we want to upgrade uh, I mean, back in that condition. We want to upgrade the uh, Scrape, may maybe maybe Scrape, I don't know. But oh, and, and Cool Headed, we want to upgrade like, but Seek, I think it's the first one. Hello? Chill is a card. Could get a chill. 
Your swap. Thank you for the five gifts, man. Appreciate it. Pog. Pogish. Or maybe we just remove and fuck off. Give a shot coming up. Not really. Okay, let's just remove so I can fuck off. Found it. It's very funny. Hello, free cards. <laughs> That's a lot. Reprogram? No. Um, war? No. No, it's not. It's not. That's not it. That's not it. Steam barrier plus. I think I will take. Thank you. Slave us. Six more we oh. We are online now, that's all that matters. That's mid. This is it's just since we have the cables, this in front blocks a lot of damage actually, that's pretty nice. Nice. Easy slaver. Smiley masks. Remove cards. Rainbow to add orbs. Hmm. Cool headed to draw cards. Cool headed to draw cards. It's an upgrade. Or is it? Or is it? I think Seek needs this the most. Burning? We have no potions. We have no potions. This is. This is. Hmm. 55 health, no potions. Uh. Have you thought about trying more mods for this game, Bino? Just took a look and there are some character mods that might be good. Stabbing with strength. Oh! I think it's over. Wow, it's a giga over. All for one? Okay, that's potential there. That does help, however. Take 11. We did it. We beat Book of Stabbing Elite. Big. Dude, I'm too good. He's too good. <laughs> God damn. Equilibrium plus is tempting. He 
healing. Okay, Pug. Neko. What the fuck are you... Standing there looking all sexy for. I'm going to kill you in the real life. Network. Pog? Thank you for making this, uh, yeah. Thank you, Network. An upgrade to the cycle? No, thank you. We are gonna, now gonna upgrade uh, defrag, maybe defrag or neck recognition. Who is the boss? Knight. Hmm. Probably one of these two. I think uh, this one is gonna be nice to have. I'll do that one first. Uh, I would rather do a uh, question mark. Hello, slavers. Instant seek based? Cool, let's look at them in the turbo and uh, Neko form. We, we gotta get it online. The faster we get it online, the faster we win. Gonna take some damage here, but. Quite a bit, actually. We're gonna prop glacier, but are we gonna double glacier? That's the question. Dollar. Eight, nine, yeah, so we're good. Free meter strike, let's go. Throw it. Oh, it's something almost as good. Order, I think. Well, we should be fine now. Unless we draw only wounds. Which we might do, actually. Not quite. No longer vulnerable, so that's a big uh, W. Okay. We lived! That's gonna be so huge in keeping my fucking energy, dude. Wow, we are getting... Ooh. Creative AI, please. That's actually big as fuck. We want the creative AI or we want the all for one right now? Neko Leap. I think we need the Neko Leap. We have steam barriers. Aggregate, we already have turbo. No. A good turn to activate this. We get free block just like that. Beautiful. Well, hmm, twelve five. I want to keep meters so I can play it next turn. 
Yeah, it's, not, it's not even close to death. Uh, we can't we can't kill anyone. We can equilibrium, equilibrium, or we can glacier, glacier, and then just be bias, and then we will just like not take any damage. Then it really depends on what we get next. Because I, I wanna I wanna pop, pop meteor strike. That would be sick. Neko, I don't wanna do Neko first. I think I think it's enough to. Well, if it, hmm. Twelve, twelve plus four, five. Twenty-four, twelve, twelve. Then they block ten more, and then we can do that. Right? No, we we take like four damage, and then we get to keep meter strike in that case. Wait, we we have we have hand. We have hand. Oh my god. Eben. Full block. Okay. And now we get enough to pop meter strike twice. And we win. Look at that. Okay, so Zeke is a useless card now, I guess. But I blocked 20 10 because I'm so, I have so much fucking focus. I'm so busted, it doesn't matter. Okay. Red mask get. Lucky, so yeah, kinda lucky, kinda lucky. Kind of, maybe a little bit lucky. Maybe. Maybe a little bit lucky. Perhaps. <laughs> a minuscule amount of luck, perhaps. Oh, we are upgrading this cognition right now. <laughs> Hello. Did this just fucking happen? Necoform? Turbo. Fem, six, water, niti, elva. We take a little bit of damage. Uh, do I want to play, play this twice? The question is do we play this twice? I'm chilling. Go ahead. Can we draw the fucking condition, please? Eleven focus. Wonderful. Alright, let's stress this out. Yep. Meter strike? Master? Okay. Probably didn't have to do that. Oh, hello. Twenty-seven damage. I kind of want to dual cast that actually. I 
An X card now? Some kind of X card would be kind of sick, honestly. Reinforced with calipers also would be epic. I could have fucking... Damn. That was a mistake. But I think I can kill him like in a couple of turns. Unless this happens. This would be a big problem, actually. Maybe. No. Not really. I still block for 150. <laughs> hmm. Alright, that's it. Goodbye! Goodbye, champ! He tried. This would mean a lot of scaling. I don't think our our main gimmick now is is the the zero cost cards. Our main gimmick is literally just we just stack fucking focus. I'll take one. Oh. We won. We, we were doing two in a row. We're doing two in a row. With this runic, I am unstoppable. No one can stop me now. No one. A wound can stop me. But... Anyways. That would mean one elite. If we go left, we get... Hmm, I want to do the bonfire, because we want to upgrade a lot of things. We actually just want to upgrade stuff right now. I don't really care about the elites and relics and shit. There's two bonfires here, and we can also do the one elite XD. Where do we get the most rests? We get four upgrades if we go or like straight up here. Could have three question marks. I'll do that, and take it from there. Heatsink? I don't think so. We're, now we're looking for a Tempest. A Tempest now would be crazy. Heatsink? It lets me draw cards for sure. But we have we have Pyramid. So it would be a bit excessive to get this right now. I think. Is this a Heatsink moment? What do you think, chat? If you get medkit then it's over, medkit would be nice. Not like necessary, exactly. We could also just get a... Um, we could also get a recycle. A recycle would be, very nice. It would be nice. Clog? How is it a clog if it actively draws cards for you? It's like, it's like calling a skim a clog. You gotta play those cards to unclog. Well, you also have Mummified Hand and Birdface that's earned, so it will. It, you play this, you make something else cheaper. Hmm. 
It would be a potential weakness against... Um, it would be a clog against Awaken for sure, but... You're gonna run out the powers to hand job. So, heat sinks is something you wanna draw, draw early. Because it speeds up when you when you are when you, when you are out of powers. That's really good. When you're out of powers, that's really good. Heat sinks makes that whole process faster. But although we, we want to play them one by one with Echo Form anyway, so whatever. I'll, 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 let, I'll let it go. You should kept that. Okay. This is so fucking busted with fucking... With this shit. I keep getting really bad attacks with this though. No, not really. An upgraded go for the ice is not the end of the world. Having one way to apply weakness, I can go for it. Madness is clog. Um, bit more Mori. Let's make some use of it. Let's make some use of our Mori. I just took damage. Definitely dead. There you are. Do that. Thank you. We have twenty one focus, by the way. But just gonna be nice here. I have one orb that heals me for that box twenty three. Cool. Don't do that. That's fine though. I guess now we just wait for him to like kill me. Or for, for me to die, because he's gonna die very fast with fifty damage per turn. <laughs> Yeah, I think he is. See ya. No. Nope. Now the question is, I, 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 I like definitely feel strong enough to do. Now that we have these, actually, warp tongues upgrades aren't that valuable anymore, are they? Don't we just do three elites then instead of two, and save money for next act so we can buy more shit? I think so. Yeah, I feel like it's the lead moment. Sure. No longer weakened, Pog. Echo. Let's get a free meter strike. I 
Now, you might say one over there, but... It just so happens. However, unfortunately... Double Neko form. Into this, into this. I'm blocking for 30 with my back orbs. My god. Core Surge, why not? I want to clean up my hand a bit. We don't need these blocks. A uh, capacitor now would be good. Runic, even. Meteor Strike. Okay. Fifty, we block for that, yep. Okay. Little peace pipe, I guess. Not don't need that, don't need that. Uh, I mean this is like kind of a nice block. It gives us energy over turns, but we have that. We, we want something that spends the energy at this point. Twenty focus with only plasma orbs. Plasma orbs do benefit benefit below. That's the nice thing about them. Another nice thing is drawing this turn one. Turbo Neko go. Yep. I was gonna draw one attack. We did. There we go, he hits for three. <laughs> what a dog. Have energy for days. Another meteor strike. I keep getting those. Or why? If I goes next turn. Yeah, calipers now would be like instant GG. Literally instant GG. For real. That would just be stupid good. I guess we don't want to kill this guy eventually, so I'm going to do some damage. We do a little scraping. I'm getting really bad card rewards. I'm like tempted to go to this shop, actually. I'm tempted to go to this shop, man. My cards are... I'll buy every run. Calipers will be GG. They are just that good, man. When you, come, when you get late game and you get calipers, it's over. I kinda said I missed it in the shop on this act, actually. Um... Okay. I'll take a little bit of damage, but we'll heal it back. Speaking of... We need an attack! Uh, I guess I'll just get a fucking beam cell. And uh... Neko. Problem, That's gonna be burden. Soon all will be neko neko hyper. Yeah. Yeah, that's kinda true. I have twenty three uh, the I, I the thing is that like I my deck is strong, but it also just gets set up so fast. Yo, Albino. PayPal gave me three dollars for no reason, and you're very entertaining, so there you go. Lazy Turtle, thank you for the five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Thank you for the five hundred dollars, man. Appreciate it. So kind. I just gotta get his cards out of my hand, man. That works. Bad card, bad card, bad card. Let's go. Well, I guess I have no choice. Uh, 
Yeah. I mean, I guess I could have played a single. Uh, would it really uh, kill me to play this singular? I have two of the fucking thing, right? Neko. Neko form. Uh, that and um, that. Mm hmm. No, I don't take third, that's nice. Alright. Okay. Much. Michael Gilligan, thank you for two dollars. I'm kind of yeah. Sorry, I'm in the middle of a run, having a moral moment. My bad, chief. Mhm. Mm we have a bunch of attacks. See ya. Him say this is not Fortnite Battle Pass gameplay. Suspicious. How have the runs been today? I'm about to have my first 820 heart streak, Janko. Thank you for the one bits. I'm about to have my first 820 win streak, dude. Crazy. I think one meter strike is fine. We could get a skim here. I think a skim would be very nice. Yeah, skim definitely will be very nice. That's a decent card, I guess. And we draw that shit. Don't you know it? Echo form is up. We play two glaciers. Rebound is fucking nice, man. I like rebound. It's epic. Four is better than two, for sure. More focus. That should be 45, yep. Well, he is vulnerable. I guess I'll use the thing. Neko form, go. There. And we also heal with it. Like, actually... Normally, dude, I don't really care too much about... Um, No frost. Yikes. Normally, I don't really care too much about um, Does anyone remember what I was gonna say? Anyone got an idea, chat? I kind of forgot. <laughs> Meal ticket. Okay, more healing. Actually, compile more card draw. I think it, I think the the skim will do. I think the skim will do. Well, we have one more lead to go. We can talk, actually, but I think we want to get some more consistent upgrades up. We want to make sure the bias condition is going to be... Oh, actually, the skim. Right? Or we could remove clutter. Maybe a talk is more potent right now. Or recall. I think I'll recall for now. Just get it done, and we can make a better decision later. Because we don't need it right now. Okay, money. Based. With courier, that's actually really good. Instant Neko form. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah.
Do we glacier here or do we just like fucking uh, meet your strike some shit? I think we really, I think actually we glacier. I just want to draw some more cards, honestly. But I guess we do go for the safe option then. Seven. Seven lone, bitch. Okay, we didn't take damage. So that's, that's a fucking accomplishment. I think this is over. Sure is. Wrap the dub. Unceasing top is not gonna do much, but I guess we have it. No. Absolutely not. I guess the ceasing could be good, but the amount of energy we, we kind of generate, sure. Weak energy? Not really. We kind of, we, we have, we have Necoform, we have Neko Meteor Strike with Ice Cream. It's not weak energy. It's actually, at the end of each fight, when a fight goes on for a little bit too long, we find ourselves easily with around 50 energy. Seems like Coffee Dripper is the top three shitty relic. Yeah, no, I, 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 I wholeheartedly agree, man. No, we definitely want to make sure now we get... Because uh, this is going to be two more focus. Just upgrade. Obviously, Kurdids are going to be nice to have, have upgraded, but I think the, the focus... Or Are we set on focus, or do we just get more card draw? Are we set on focus? Do we have enough focus? I think we do. We want to prioritize getting cards out. We're full of focus. I think we want to make the cool this better. Upgrade the metamorphosis, that's not uh, what I need. I wasted a heal, shit. Um, heat sinks, draw cards. No buffer. Don't take damage. Thunder strike. Pepe laugh point right snail alarm clock. Of course. But we got Ulan Echo, so there's that. Six, three, six, six. Uh we can mm, no we do this. Since we have gold play the cables, we get more from that. Take a bit more damage. Eight. I'm gonna have to scrape here. Do I want to scrape? I don't think it really matters too much. Let me found, find the seek at least. Oh shit. We got an all for one. This this deck doesn't have a hologram, does it? There's no hologram here. That's kinda that's kinda wacky. Huh. He's dead.
He's dead. He's dead. Rip. No foolish moment here. And we didn't get the power goblin. Epic. Nice. Where is my um, spoon? We either get Seek or Neck Form, that's what, that was what I was hoping for. Because if we get the one of those, then we're good. Then we're chilling. Then we can just play everything else, anyways. We aren't limited in the, by cards or anything, so... Have the, we have the means to clean this hand. And chill. Tax finally. They do be scaling though. There it is. And we got the funny top. I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. Oh shit. I am done. <laughs> Throw me some fucking cards though. Fucking daisies. Can I draw some uh, damage? I guess we can kind of struggle with damage, honestly. Like this is the front with a lit twice. It's like we have focus at the ass, but the only hit is with it, like barely anything. We only block with it because we don't have any. I should have been. I should have picked up the fucking blister, like unironically. It would have been good. Blister with unironically would be good, man. I swear to God. Honestly, dude, talk. Where do we get more focus? Eh, I don't know, man. Or more cool headed. I think we get more focus. Surely we need one more focus. Bag of oh hello. There's the blizzard. There's the anchor. There's the frozen eye. Oh my god, I'm getting like. Listen, you need a couple of things to kill the eye, to kill the heart. Here's an anchor for turn one block. Here's a bag of prep so you can cycle your deck faster. 
Here is a Frost Knight, so you can see your fucking deck. Here's scaling. Okay. Very nice. I'm happy with that. I am very much happy with that. That should be full, I think. Do we have any meaningful? We, we might get uh, we might get seek here, honestly. We got steam barrier though. Neko. I'm about to take some damage. Not 57, not quite 57, but uh... I have Frost Knight! Oh my god, I forgot about it again. We're gonna draw- yeah, yeah, okay. It takes me- when I get Frost Knight, it takes me a couple of fights to realize I have the fucking thing. Sorry, chat. Fuck me. I could've- I, this fight would've- I probably could've avoided all of, the, all of this. Damn. Now he goes frost up, so we're fine. Lolol. Four more. Okay. Okay. Horn is very nice. No potion though. We top decked deco form. That is something. He's weak and I'm not vulnerable. He went from 60 to 33. Pretty good. Uh, 
It costs money. This does not. Okay. We have two bias conditions coming up. Let's make some space for them. Let's play that shit. Avoid next turn, I don't care though. The wound is annoying as fuck. Recycle would be really good in this deck, actually. We do a lot of damage with our lightning now with this uh, shit up. That's very nice. Yeah, we can probably do this. This should be a win, I think. I don't think I don't see how I can lose this right now. I think this is over. Like genuinely is instantly or it's actually over. Yeah, it's over. Pellet moment. 15. I guess we equilibrium twice to be safe, or we can just. Don't say anything, chat. I have everything under control. Shut the fuck up. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm 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 gonna stop clicking buttons, okay? I'm I'm gonna stop clicking buttons. I'm just gonna win the game and leave it at that. I'm not gonna kill myself with death pulls. I'm, that's it. Two streak. Two eight twenty hearts in a row. God damn. Okay. New record. <laughs> More than once. I made some mistakes in the end. There, I got cocky and I almost died for it. Two. Literally, yeah, kind of rigged from the start. Kind of rigged from the start. Maybe a little bit. Did we did, did we curse swap into a burnt faced urn? Is that what we did? No, we got a rare card, right? Doubters felt itching in their ass. Metamor I got metamorphosis. Yeah, that's what I got, and that actually carried some fight. I took a curse from Metamorphosis. So weird.
Such a weird start. But it's a nice card early game. You get like three attacks, you know, that, that literally slayed some enemies for me. Yeah, because we switched into... Um... Where is that? Metamorphosis. <laughs> we switched into this shit. Oh my god. And it actually, it, it one of the fights it gave me like some some busted shit. It gave me like an all for one and a, and, a, and a lightning strike, and I just killed. I just outright killed the the love and Glim with it. But the morph and then scrape, yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It just let me play a bunch of shit, and we killed. I think I'm pretty sure we killed love and Glim before he even hit us once. He didn't hit us a single time, and he just died. Like he just got owned. This one was actually sh way short. This is 1.16. The previous one before that was two hours. You some good stuff even in the time I was here, but it was truly all skill, surely. Surely. <laughs> Thank you for the wish, Junko. No, it was a good it was a good run, man. That was that was a really good one. Two wins in a row. Wins victory since 20. God damn. Slay on the floor, slay on the sl And the one before that actually made it to the heart. Dude, this was off stream, dude. This was an off stream run that I did today. Uh, I just like was bored at some point. I had some free time. I boss, I, I, I rare card swap into apotheosis. Okay. Then I find a lightning in a bottle. I get this shit. I get the date disc early. Marbles, this. I get a fusion hammer with apotheosis bottled in the lightning, but I didn't get good enough cards. I didn't get good enough cards. That was the problem. There was a reprogram there for some reason. I forgot why it was even there. Oh yeah, because I Pandora, I, I Pandora's box swapped into getting three thunder strikes. I had one, and one of those with the reprogram was actually pretty good, but and I also had three holograms. Um, but I kept drawing so many. When I picked the Pandora's at like end of Act Two, I kept drawing so many fucking attacks that I, I couldn't block. I couldn't block. I need more holograms, surely. <laughs> more skill. Corrupt heart. So it, it was a it was a good run, but I made it hard, but I couldn't beat hard. So if I, if that didn't go wrong, I would have had three in a row now. That's pretty cool. Two in a row, I'm still I'm still happy about that. That's really good. For me, I mean that's just the first time I'm getting a streak, so I'm happy about it. What did I join? I'll buy my blaming RNG for another skill issue? No, I'm literally, I beat the game, I beat Heart twice in a row. I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, congratulating myself here for doing well. I can't beat Act, act 1's a good job, man. Thank you. I was, the way my Act 1 was looking, I thought I was going to instantly die. And this is actually, I put Birdface Urn in like a low tier. Now granted, we got this in Defect with Echo Form and Powers, like obviously it's gonna do a lot, but I think if we had stats for how much this thing healed this run, I think this thing healed genuinely this run like a hundred health or more. Like it was insane. Cause I would I would echo form every power and I had so many of them. It literally healed. Like I would have died to heart if I didn't have this relic because it literally healed me for like 15 health during the fight. Obviously, Coffee Dripper uh someone said it was bad. It's it's I think it's one of the highest tier energy relics because there's other way to get there's other ways to get health. So Ornithopter, huge. It's 5 health per portion. B big. Uh, this, big. And then we have meal ticket. So at that point, we, we obviously didn't have all of them, but I had only this, and I was like, well, I'm using Echo Form and Power, so I figured a Coffee Dripper is fine. You know, and also we have ice cream, so... You know, uh, you, who cares about, like... Or, like, we have ice cream, so extra excess, excess energy with ice cream, usually very good. Even if you have too much energy one turn, you only you only spend like three out of four energy. Well, the next turn you just have five. Like, obviously, ice cream is a broken relic. Like, it's just too, too good. <laughs> it, it did help a lot. It did help a lot. It's like one of my favorite relics. On defects, it's one of my favorite relics because it makes cards like like turbo and especially a double energy. Double energy. I didn't find it a single time. If I did find it, like one of the funniest things you can do on defect is get ice cream. Just get ice cream. Lol. You get ice cream, and then you uh, get double energy, and you get maybe one energy relic, and then you get um, also maybe a turbo to to like to like complement this, and then you get a tempest, and a thunder strike, tempest thunder strike, double energy. Those three cards with an ice cream, 
You're, you're gonna turn into low tier god. You're just gonna be like with the lightnings because you're gonna make in one turn 60 lightnings and then then you do thunder strike with like how many you do you do like damage instances based on how many thunder strikes have, or thunders have been like channeled and it's like oh you just channeled 60 lightning that means thunder strike hits again again it, again it just hits like a million times like I did it I did that on the plane on my way to Barcelona on my phone I was playing defect on my phone on the plane I got ice cream. Double energy <laughs> and fucking thunderstrike and tempest. It, it, it was it was absurd. My phone, because the iPhone is like laggy when you play the game, so I was just like striking him with thunder for like half an hour in like two FPS. So that was uh, that was that was something. This is on phones. Yeah, you can play it on on on. on I think I think maybe Android, but definitely on iPhone. Uh, I will say though that the iPhone um, has low FPS. That is probably not because the game is unoptimized or like not optimized for the game. That's probably because if it goes higher FPS, then the the game takes too much of the game, like the phone's like processes, and it will overheat. Like the phone will get hot if it spends so much processing on like running the game. So it it to avoid that, it just runs it low FPS. You know. That's why, for example, I will. Uh, An alt asked me the other day, like, dude, why do you why do you put ca like a frame rate cap on your game? Why would you cap your game to 60 FPS? I'm like, well, because I don't want my computer to explode. <laughs> my computer, my computer can probably run it uh, like more than that, but if I do, then my computer is gonna like every other process on the computer is gonna choke, you know. Um, it's 11 p.m. I'm live for five hours. I mean, I could do Fortnite, but I feel like it's a bit late to switching games at this point. It's a little bit, um, yeah. Capping STS? No, Fortnite. I was, I was talking about Fortnite. Capping STS is something you only do on phone, because phones can't really handle it. I could do one more run, but we'll see how long it takes. I don't think I'll do three in a row, like, holy shit. There's no way. Oh, back to it. It's one twenty. All right, good night. Dark Dungeon Two. It's not out yet. I like Dark Dungeon Two has had some changes from the first game that I think is like more suited towards me. Um, so when that is out, like out out, fully released in February next year, I will play it. But uh, until then, I, I can I can wait. I can wait. Also, dude, I think this last run. I had like an, an like a fucking pr insane luck with like I I would top deck echo form so many fights in a row th that it let me heal a lot from duplicating powers and also just like duplicating powers and I got pellets I did dude it was so many things that went right so many things went right dude it was wild snipe potential no no. Yes. It's po yeah, it's possible. We could snipe this elite. This is not very good. This is too risky. Uh, is it a forced elite moment? Yes, it is not. But I want to just snipe it, I guess. Third one in a row. This one's going to be fast in the beginning, though. Instant potion. Not the best portion, but the portion. Battery. Mm, are, are we forced to take a melter right now? Are we forced to cope with the melter? There's no way. No, we, we're gonna get the snipe. Yeah. Don't we encounter? Oh, we didn't get an encounter. Oh, we got this too. God damn. Let's go. We get the snipe. Um, nothing really great here. Hmm. Nothing very. I think we'll have to take a rip it here then, just to get damage from this uh, for this boss. We're gonna do the two elites now. Rip it here. But we don't have an ice cream, so I'm not gonna take that. Could this is a good card, I don't think I would pay for it though. We've got a couple of the with a strength potion. That would be nice. The, 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 the capacity, there's nothing for me right now. 
Gain strength. Yeah, gain strength. Thank you. So we're not gonna get knobbed. That's us relieving. Prayer wheel. That is a relic for sure. Now we're gonna get mad card rewards. So hallway fights are valuable as shit. Damn. Okay, that's a rare. That's a, that's a, that's a rare one. Rebound. Uh, yeah. Liquid memories. Yeah, obviously that over. Good lord. What am I thinking? Nine nine. Nine nine. Damage. Pylons. Hello. I want to focus one down actually. Eleven, eleven, seven. Good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pylon seems to be done going well. Very well. Exact lethal. Damn, that saved me 10 health. No longer weakened. Okay. Skim. Recycle. Two high potential cards. Immediately, I think skim is better. Imme straight up immediately, I think skim is just better. Like... For now. For now. Uh, we don't have to do one more elite, but we can. Easy pylons. We have a thorn potion. We can either get a loving ghoulin or knob now. I don't think I want to like go straight into that with. Well, Ripen Tear is very well suited for that boss fight, honestly. But Liquid Bronze is not. Maybe go over here and see if we get a get a good card from this. Oh, good lord! I'm getting some really fucking spicy relics here. Wow. I'm not very scared of knob anymore because now we can just we can discard our entire first hand. Getting such good relics, dude. We definitely want to do an encounter at this point. Uh, we don't want rebound. We can play these three and be totally happy with it. Yeah, we can. Take one. I can deal with that though. All right. Two card rewards. God damn. Rip and tear. Reprogram? Is it that time? No longer weekend? Reprogram? Is it time chat? I usually upgrade dual cast first no matter what. How viable is that? Um, I... It really depends on what you're doing. It really depends on what you want to achieve. For me, if I upgrade the dual cast first, I, I think I upgrade the Rip and Tear first because A20, uh, the, uh, the elites this act are, are DPS tests. Every one of them. You need to have the damage to kill them. And uh, the strength potion with this let me kill, uh, like, uh, get a really early exact lethal on the, on pylons, which is really good. So that, that card paid off. Um, Reprogram has a very bad track record. Are we gonna really throw our third win in a row? No longer like weekend. And we can, we can, we can, so like finding a synergy for reprogram is not gonna be super difficult since we have prayer wheel. Like, prayer wheel is really good if you ha have like a thing that can potentially be powerful, but needs niche specific cards. So I think it will be doable, but, uh, and especially since the next elite we're gonna go up against is going to be Nob or, or Love and Gulin. For Nob, we have the program and fucking two Rip and Tears, so I should be fine. And for this way, we just cycle all of this, maybe not this, and then we find the program and then we, we fight them. I'm not too worried. Program. 
And now, um, we will draw all three of them. Mm -hmm. So we can we can actually draw this and start with like one fat energy. Four energy, start. Draw something good. Good. We do take some damage here though. But I think this fight is over. Sure is. I am getting the most insane and see what do we pick here? These are both very good. This is, is super beneficial now. This is like for later. Slime. Wow. I think I'm I I think Steamberry is super good, but I think we can easily find that again later. It's this I need to take. Now it's a question, do we upgrade? No, I think we rest for now to make sure we can live. And after, after that we upgrade the uh, reprogram. Because I don't think this is going to be a fight where like... Fucking... Sick. Let's go Japan here. What's he hitting for? He's a blue one, he's going to weaken me, he's hit for 8. Look for 7. I guess we can take one and deal like this damage. I can't be weakened. XD. I did not have lethal. Take seven and it's over. Okay. Good. Beam cell? Cool hooded? I don't know if cool hooded is like the. Hmm. Seek is so important here, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that control is gonna be very important later. Beam cell obviously is one take, but the other one here I think is gonna be... I don't know. Beam battery too. Yeah, this is card draw, but it's not the, the card draw we want. Do you want two batteries? Uh, what's our block density? Not very high, we can take two, sure. Now we gotta we gotta upgrade this. It's otherwise it's, it's useless. With gambling ship, I feel like we're gonna have a nice start here. Kind of order. I could have done like two more damage there, four more actually. Slime crush. Four to four split is not too bad. Hmm. I can't become weakened, so I think we should prioritize killing this guy. I don't want to be frailed. That was a terrible split, but. Oh, this is scary. No way, am I dead? I'm I'm safe coming. I'm safe coming. That's is that like unlucky draw or did I fuck it up? Is that unlucky draw? Or did I did I actually fuck it up? I can't tell. I mean, I guess I could pop these, but like.
The second split was terrible, yeah. I think it's- I think that what- honestly what fucked me there was the random nature of, um... The random nature of, uh... The fucking... Dog card. What's it? I forgot the name of it, but, but yeah. That's much better. Okay, that's that's the fight. That's that's it. Good lord. Machine learning good. Ultra run kind of potentially a card. Pieces is some yeah because I I uh, I forgot that I had the the, the anti weekend so I did, I focused the back eye for a bit and uh, just like yeah that isn't some shit. Buffer no ultra run yes. Machine learning good, but it is good though. Deck cycle. Mm. Our phone's gonna be a curse for a long time. Yeah, because we don't have a steam barrier yet. If we had a steam barrier, I could I could excuse it, but I guess machine learning is the way to go for now. Curse key, Pandora, or Fusion. Pandora, maybe? But these tracks in defense are, with the reprogram build, they aren't too bad. They are not too bad. They are actually fine. Hmm. The boss relics were not that bad, that good. I would like to see a nuclear battery here. I could try Pandora's. But we also kinda need the energy. The key is the only reasonable take here, honestly. You got two batteries, so box is not that bad. Yeah. That's the one way to think about it. Key gives you more energy, but at the cost of... Uh, but we're very likely to get, like, orb generation cards here, which is, like, basically not gonna do anything. The key, get, like, whenever you open up, you get one more energy per start of your turn, which is good. Energy is very nice. Uh, but you also get a curse every time you open a chest, which is terrible. Q would be good. Because then I can use skim more. I can use um reprogram more. Because it's a card that it's a card that only gives decks and uh, and strength, but it doesn't like you need to pop this and pop something else. Uh so key would be very nice. Yeah, you need energy with reprogram. Plus you don't really want to transform over cards with negative focus. Yeah, so we gotta take the key. That's the only thing we can do here. We wanna upgrade stuff, um yeah. Now we need holograms, we need scene barriers, we need shit like that. We also have mad money, so I gotta go spend that. Two encounters into this should give us good options. What are we looking at in terms of least then? One. Or we can do encounter heavy here into, but then we have to do elite, but I guess that's a fine path, whatever. Encounters are nice at this point. 21. No strike. Seek, machine learning, and charge battery and reprogram should be fine though. Have any sick block cards? We don't. Did I just fucking order myself out the ass? I'm getting tired, boys. I'm th I don't think I'm gonna win this. I'm getting tired of shit. Why did I not throw any, any defense? I don't understand. Where did they go? Where did my defense go? Like, what is this game? Where the fuck did they go, dude? And is Ola doing that again? I think this avocado is being very mean to me. 
Very mean to me. What the fuck is this? Go for the ice, I need that. Nico form, yeah, okay. Wow. Wait, did I just fucking... Just, oh, oh, fuck me. Fuck me. I, I can't think. I can't think. I can't think. I have white beast. I have fucking white beast, dude. Just fucking use the potion, man. Just fucking use the potion. I'm having a stroke. Good lord. Hero boy, and I have a free fight. No, I don't want it. XD. Potion. Boot sequence is gonna help a lot, actually. I think I have to take that. Hologram. Boot sequence. Thank you. Potion belt is big here. We got another reprogram coming up. Potion belt. It's just I have to take it. There's no way. I can't not take that. With white piece statue, I have to take it. White piece is a composite for bad brain. Boot is really good since you have chip. Yeah. Reprogram again. Med kit. Blood vial. Oh, we gotta remove sap and dual cast, yeah. We gotta remove sap at least. Sap is terrible. There. Arguably a, a, a genetic, but... This should be good for now. Genetic? I don't want to add a genetic to make that going into an elite. This point in time? No. Absolutely not. Does Flash of Steel draw a card? It does. Okay, good. What are these draws, man? Frail. Hmm. We're not going to get more block by doing this. Can take We can take four here, I guess. Yeah. Unless we got like, we're kind of scaled up right now. I'm getting molested by this fucking enemy, dude. I don't understand, like, what the fuck is happening. AIDS. Cosmetic potion, sexy. AI, hologram. Transform. Dual cast still does something. Or does it? Okay. Yeah, we have to heal. There's no other way. I feel kind of weak for this lead, but we'll see.
Okay. Why not? Now we're gonna take a lot of damage right now, but they're also about to fucking die. Potion moment. I need to pop this or else I'm dead. Like, I cannot do anything about this. Here comes death. You think I'm dead? Because yeah, this card is too random to be used for anything, right? Yeah, there, there, there it is. There it is. I, I don't know. The program never works. The program never works, man. Yeah, and also the rip interior is like good. For, it's a good cope for Act One, but after that, it's not good. It's not good after that because it's never gonna like do enough damage. No, I think that's run. That's run needed like a a a um, hyper beam. It needed a hyper beam, I think. You're just tired to rig? Yeah, I'm also a bit tired. That doesn't help. It's like, been like five hours. I did do a heart run back to back, so that, that does not help with me not being tired. You know? So there is, there is, there is that. Nuclear block, nuclear kick. Thank you for the prime. So I have to just send a message to Doodles about editing. Uh, do we do Fortnite or I think I'm too tired. I think it's, I think I'm, I'm too dead. It's only like eleven. I shouldn't be this dead though. Like I could definitely go for more gaming, but. Good night, Bino. Thank you, FS. I don't know what FS is. Is this a twenty-hour stream of just SDS? Twenty hours? No, it's only been five hours. For stream. For stream. Good night, man. Do we do Fortnite? I could definitely do. No, let's do Fortnite. I want to do this Fortnite. I'm, I'm tired of shit, but let's do some Fortnite. XD. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Plague. Plague. Skin extremist. That's me. Fortnite. Fort. Maggot. Fucking alt tabbing maggot client. Fuck off. No. No. Close. No. I ah, sorry. I, I forgot. I had to close every application on my entire computer to run Fortnite because it's just that like heavy with the new Epic settings. I hate how like Epic Games client will literally make an alert pop up that will just stay there forever until like you're a, a, a dead rotting corpse and you have to click X on it for it to go away. Like it will never just go away on its own. Like a normal notification would. I'm <laughs> like, come on man. Did you hear about Epic Games getting sued for 500 million making it too easy for kids to spend money on Fortnite? Really? Did they, did they lose the lawsuit or what? Who is suing them? The kids? Like, where does the money go? 
The, the kids have always wanted money. What are, they, what are they hoping to achieve here? The FTC? What's the FTC? The Federal Trade Commission. Okay, so to make up for the fact that kids have spent a lot of money, they take it and give it to some trade commission? <laughs> oh my god, we can open a present! What will- Welcome, thank you! I have no- No, I- Give my fuck- Okay, I'm not allowed. This one. Go. Emote? I can't hear it. I think it's copyrighted music that I cannot <laughs> like actually hear. Anyways. Ford makes four dollars a year and they find them five hundred million. Dude, they make a lot of money. Four billion. They make four billion dollars a year and they for five hundred million. Well, that's a big amount of their money. That's a lot of that's a lot of money. It's still, it's still a lot of money. Honestly, I gotta put on some like quick, snide emote that I can like put off when I kill someone. <laughs> Where's that? Salute. Salute, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. I just want something snide for when I kill people. That's it. I kill them and I do like a fucking slow clap. I do a healy tap, a click. Good, that's also a nice one. I cannot remove Hula, Hula is too good. All right, Shimmer, you're f fuck off. Running man, I mean. Yeah, 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 there we go. There we go. There we go. Gun show. We got the click. We got the clap. We got the gun show. <laughs> okay, base. Good. Time to do, to style on some children. Orange justice, bring it back. Is it gone? There's no way. Flex plus two strength, L dance. Classic dance, uh, dance moves you cannot remove. It's always gonna be there, dude. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? There. I paid money for like 50 emotes in this game, but I still got this shit locked. Always. Carrot Cat, thank you for T1. Wow. Wow. Fortnite. Berziki. 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 Thank you for the Prime Man. Eastern European. Game, hello. Hello? Hello. What am I tracking? Map. Am I tracking shit? I'm not tracking shit. Quest. Collect the shockwave hammer. I can't really do that, can I? Or I can't track that. Yep. I need to reinstall this game so I can come stream Sniper I know. But I'll protect him for a distance. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> good good luck. Good luck. My guardian angel. Dark politics. Gaming? This game always takes forever when I'm streaming, man. Construction mode in 2022 is a weird experience. You know, I have no idea what that is. But go off. Can you even stream snipe in this game? Is this game not literally too po too popular for stream sniping to happen? I, <laughs> how do people even do that? Guru went to bed. Guru went to bed chat. I have four seconds to do one. I have four seconds to do one. Next game I will do it. Now I have to play though. 
I gotta get a shockwave hammer. Where the fuck do I get that? Slabs. Let's go to fucking slabs. I'm slabbing. I'm slabbing. Actually, let's go over here. I haven't. It's, it's still it's still like grayed out. I'm gonna go there. Do you, why do you allow Guru to have a bad have a bed? He, no, he. So like going to bed is more like a figure of speech. He's sleeping in a cage like in the in my garage. But yeah, when I say go to bed, I mean like he's sleeping. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Why is someone coming with me, man? Get out of here. They're all the way up there. Where the fuck are you going? I'm just exploring the map, man. Oh, they're doing the Hero Academia shit down here, aren't they? God damn, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot that was a thing. This is like a this is high priority area, man. Also means they don't value their life. Meaning I might get some kills on stream and look like a, I know how to play the fucking game, which would be really cool. Actually. My quest was to find the hammer, mind you. <laughs> cool. Hello. Sorry about your house, but... Two hammers. What is this? Bow? It's like some epic bow. What the hell? Alright, you go there. Grappler bow. What the hell? God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck did I just do, man? We only got two hammers. I don't think I need the uh, impulse grenades with this shit though. Gamer. That's a weapon. Wait, seriously? Is that an NPC doing some shit or what? That's a shotgun, give me that. Seven eleven, bitch! Okay. Bow specialist maybe with this shit? Oh, you grapple with it! That's crazy. Is it a, is it a player? Ha! <laughs> it's a player! Okay! Can you like attack with it though? Oh shit. I missed! Ah! See ya. See ya. See ya. Aluminum. I'm not getting close to this guy. I'm gonna fucking bounce. <laughs> I'm so fucking mobile right now. <laughs> this is lit. Never gonna catch me. Ever. I'm gonna do the weapon that can cover a lot of things. Cover a lot of ground, if you will. So with the bow specialist, I actually have infinite arrows. That's pretty epic. It does launch me really high in the sky though, which is kind of F XD. It's the AI. What? Give me like a SMG or something. Big chest? Hello? A knife gun. I guess I'll take it. Oh, SMG. That's better. Two knife guns. Is this thing good? Is this like a good gun or what? We have only a, a knife gun, a shotgun. Knife gun, SMG. And then the rest is just this shit. 
more mobility. <laughs> it's 16 people and blows it up. Cool. Okay, let's go with that. It's just probably like... This is probably like not viable in any way whatsoever, but... Anyways. Go up. Oh my god. Does there exist a man more mobile than me? Excuse me! I had lined up the perfect shot, but the little scat particle in the air decided, no, actually you didn't. Because of course I didn't. <laughs> Maggot! <laughs> Easy, yoink. Oh, this is all mine now. Ah, very nice. <laughs> Easy. Good gun. Yes, let's go. Nice maggot. GL boy, now how come you get to have three hammers? I don't know. I'm just good. I'm a little ninja. With a... <laughs> Actually, it's maggot mode. Fucking... Jumping around with a bow and a hammer. Should I get small shields instead? I don't think. Yeah. Time six. Good. Let's do with that. <laughs> God, camera. Dude, this is. This. Oh! Oh! I'm not a summon or shit. Bot moment? No way you're a human being. This is Mark Zuckerberg down here, man. Good night. Just a bit epic. <laughs> Just a little bit. Hello. I want gold bars. Real player, by the way. Wait, what? Come on now. Bush warrior. Bush warrior, dude! I'm having... I'm using up all my luck tomorrow, dude. I'm going to... I'm going to fall down a case of stair tomorrow. I have no luck tomorrow. It's all used today. Literally. I will stub my toe and fucking die. I think I saw someone on there. Did I? Bing shilling. Bing shilling. Bing shilling. Bing shilling. Oh shit. Just. Oh, we gotta, we gotta move. Lao Gamma. Lao Gamma. How do you shoot this, like, super effectively? What's the range? When can it shoot? It could shoot. I have no idea what's going on, man. Honestly, I should have kept a knife gun. It was pretty epic. Uh, fucking go. That is so powerful, dude. His ass did not see me. And I'm gonna pretend, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see him either. Literally, this is a situation where like you if you if you go after that guy over there, you're gonna aggro like five other dudes and die. That's all you're gonna accomplish. Bet. The only thing is I don't know how loud this uh bow bow is for other players. What the hell, bro? Fucking jump, my god. I'm leaving. Ha! 
What's wrong with this fucking bow, dude? Go. Go. Is it like a duo after me? I don't understand. Why is, where's the, this is the two people after me? I'm not gonna fucking start fights when there's two people on it, dude. Force guy's gonna okay, epic though. Oh, is that the fucking. Roll. <laughs> Let's go. Eben. Hmm, jelly. Need more jellyfish. How do you hit these things, man? You give free shields. Based. What is you, Akita? What is Oh, that's the one that's just like, uh, I'm here, isn't it? Don't worry, I'm here. That's what it always says. Now go inside, my god. Are we gonna have like, we're like top 10, dude. If there was a bet, everyone would lose. <laughs> Hammer fight? <laughs> oh, he, I, saw, I heard him, bro, that being loud. Oh, oh, shit! He's going insane! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Bitch. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, I don't have. Yeah. It's over. I thought I would follow. Maybe my, my, my composition of weapons was not optimal. It could be. You know what? I should have just full, I should have played through to my to, to my uh, my my character. Okay, just like avoid combat. Um. There we go. Remove the other options. You get like one minute to bet, I guess. There we go. There's the bet. We got it. Everyone bets like top 90 and we get a bot game and it's over. Any plans to return to Darkest Dungeon or are you shelving it for a bit? I'm shelving it forever. I might play Darkest Dungeon 2 though. I will try Darkest Dungeon 2 though. Darkest Dungeon 1 I think is not a good game. If you play Fortnite tomorrow, I will try to get in your lobby. <laughs> okay. I might I might just cook tomorrow. Like I might just edit. I might just edit videos tomorrow. But we'll see. Maybe I'll stream. Five K on the victory real, I believe in you demo. <laughs> we'll see. What, main or second? I'll probably work a little bit on both. We'll see. Finish up second and then use the remaining time on uh, main. Yeah, 
There we go. Oh, let's wait. Damage opponents with shockwave hammer. Oh, I gotta do that. Shit. I kind of forgot to hit someone with it. Okay, we, that's our objective now. That we gotta hit someone with the fucking hammer. I don't care about the placement. You, you might, chat. Chat, you might care about the placement, but I don't. I'm gonna get the hammer. I'm gonna get the Fortnite hammer and uh, hit someone with it. That is my only objective in this game. No, we we're not tryharding. I could try hard and just hide in the bush all the game, I suppose. Like if you want. If you want, I can do that. But I want the hammer. So I'm gonna try to get that. Actually we're grabbing that shotgun. See upstairs. My god, aim! What the hell? Gamer nearby. What is what's he cooking? What's in the two box? Ammo. Good. It's right over there. Oh, that's really far, dude. I ain't got no keys. Anything better than they are, I guess. I thought I had the thing already. Shit. Thank you. I just took damage, motherfucker. Something's happening over here. That's 117 damage. Where'd he end up? Slide, my god. Oh, I was so close in there. Oh, the reload, though. Fuck me. I tried to slide, but I didn't have stamina. What are we? 50, okay. Barely made 50. Exactly, goddamn. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta watch my stamina, dude. <laughs> you won by one, dude. Didn't find my hammer, though. I gotta find my hammer. I like how he <laughs> did a fucking Deku punch, and I was like, okay, here's two portal forts. Good luck. Good shit. Where are we in the pass? Where are we at? We almost got this nerd. Oh, we actually almost do. Do we get him? Claim. You got the nerd. Alright. Oh my god, we got the guy. Are they not literally the same? 
Oh, okay, I guess it is. <laughs> I guess they are. <laughs> half man, half my god. No, I don't want to buy levels. Move the camera down so we can see how many players are left. No, it's it's. Listen, you get to see the number exactly. Well, actually, maybe maybe that's a good idea though. Let me see where it is. Move everything down. Like that. That's really fine. Epic Games is actually so fucking good. They are so unbelievably fucking good at animating emotes. I've never seen emotes look this fucking human. In my entire life. They're just really good at it. Good lord. Some of the old ones were not that good though. But they've gotten really good. It might be mocap. Maybe some of it is, yeah. But again, the, like the, the techniques they use, whatever it is, it works really well. Where do I get the hammer? Slaps. <coughs> Top 90, boys. Coming up. Tabian. That's because all the models have the same skeleton, but up. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty smart. Why in the world wouldn't they? I'm gonna go in the middle. And no one's gonna harass me. Oh my, we got a golden and a half. What the hell did I. What kind of gods have I placed, man? Is well, got a challenge. That 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 does it. That's a complete rump shaker right there. I'm not opening that shit. I guess it was the next part of the challenge. <laughs> nice shotgun, idiot! <laughs> My god. Again! Again! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? He's got a golden knife gun? Yeah, I'll take that shit. The CBT hammer. Ball status flattened. Actually, I think we either take the sniper or take this. Having both is kind of stupid. They're both golden though. What do I take, chat? Sniper, I think, yeah. I think sniper. Also, we take small shield, not the f big fat. When I go with the SMG, I think the shotgun here is nicer. Am I wrong about that? Like, when you pair the shotguns with an SMG, obviously the hardest hitting one is the nicest, so you just shoot it with it once, and you switch. That's my take. On this shit. Have you like pistol is better than SMG this season? Sure. Uh, w wouldn't surprise me. I just uh, haven't, haven't found one yet. Had I found a pistol, I probably would be using that. You do have some nice perks for pistol too, like you can um, get one that gives pistols higher magazine or whatever. Okay, for example that. There we go, now we have a good pistol. I 
And we want to get the thing that gives the pistols a bigger magazine. That will it. Would be, would be nice. Do we do pet rock moments? Fuck. You can hold the fire button for full auto as well, really? Oh, really? Damn. Huh. That's kinda, that's kinda good though. I love this game. No, you don't. Fucking my god. Where? I don't know where he went. Okay, we got tag. He has a lot of shield, this guy. Even more. I think I'm gonna leave them. Fuck it. Not worth it. He popped a copium tank, so I'm done. I'm done with that. I, he just had too much health. I couldn't finish him off. I was I was so close to killing him, but I just couldn't do it. Right down here, I think. Oh, actually very close. Holy lag, did he, did he fucking teleported for a bit there? What?
I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I had to reload my gun. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. Well, just reload your gun, dude, idiot. Just reload your gun, man. What play? What place was that, actually? Yeah, I forgot to reload. That's a, that's a mistake I make a lot. 22? Okay. Let me double check that. Twenty-two. Top twenty-five. Fortnite. Okay, it's midnight. It's midnight chat. I'm gonna call it a day here. Wait, did I just get something cool here? Did I get the emote yet? No, I didn't even get shit. I'm gonna get this. God. God. Yeah, I'm gonna call it today, dude. It's midnight, it's midnight. I've been live for, what, six hours. <laughs> this is a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot of time, man. So, it's like half the day, man. I'm, uh, I'm gonna take calling it a uh, night here and, uh, I'm gonna have a snack and uh, go to bed. For a minute, streamer. Tomorrow. Moreover, actually, I don't know. I, I have a... I'm gonna be playing some Fortnite on and off stream, and if I do end up getting enough clips and some ideas for videos, I'm gonna try making something for it. Um... Yeah. I think it would be smart. Creator code pays well. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make main channel videos of Fortnite until they make me a skin in game. Albino skin. <laughs> that is the that's my that's my mango. Thanks for letting me watch Fortnite while I'm at work. Now I only have three more hours of work. <laughs> Alright, enjoy dude. Is a necklace tree decorated yet? No, but I do have a the tree is here, but I went and bought like a paper, like red paper and white paper, so I can make Neko eyes. But it's like all bent and shit. Like it's it's super bendy because it was like rolled into like a like a scroll like this. So it's I don't know how you fuck. I need I need a flat paper, not one that rolls all all the time. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go go look again for a different paper that will stay still. Also, I, can, I need glue to glue it together. Iron it. But can you, you can do that? Can you iron paper? Maybe I can. I guess I'll try. It's gonna get wet though. But maybe applying heat will make it stick. It would make sense, I guess. Carefully, but yeah, I can, I can try that, yeah. I'm gonna ask my sister, like, hey, can I come up and iron some paper? Can I just iron some paper? And she says, yeah, no problem, no problem. Put weight on it. Let's let it I've had weight on it all day. All day, I've had weight on it, but it still is like this, so I'm gonna go try having it straightened. Electroshock therapy on the paper. And then it will be fine. Low heat, cloth on top, don't need to make it wet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just apply, as long as I apply heat, I should be fine then. I'll try it. Um, yeah, anyways. Thanks for watching today, it's been fun. Did heart back to back, which, you know, the third one went to shit because we... I saw an opportunity to reprogram and I went for it, and I will, uh, I'm an idiot for it, because it never works. Even with the red key. Cursed key, I mean. So, yeah, but, uh, that's still a two-win streak. Pretty good. Anyways, thank you for watching, thank you for the subs, thank you for the bits, thank you for the dunos. It's been, it's been a good, uh, good stream today. So, uh, you know, good day, good night, wake up, love you all, have a good one. See you, um... Potentially tomorrow, but I, I can't promise anything. I have to also to take over some like now it's 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 Christmas time Christmas time is happening and there's a lot of friends visiting. There's a lot of family visiting. I will stream when I can and uh, Etc, but do know that if I don't it's probably because of stuff like that You know, there's <laughs> there's things happening. So just keep that in mind. I'll, try, I'll, I'll do what I can though Have a nice uh, rest of your Monday. Good night